Hey, Biscuits! Hello! Welcome to Kitchen and Best Friends! Just waved us like a wand. Where friends don't let friends wave spatulas <laughs> alone. Ladles. It's a ladle. Ladles. <laughs> spatulas have slots. If you play New York Times Connections. Yo, boy, did that one stump oh, me for just a little while. Yes, I hated it. <laughs> I got, I, the whole puzzle stumped me. And I was like, spatula? It should have been spoon. It should have been anything Slotted else. Slotted spoon. Uh, a hand fish catch the spoon. potato. Don't you know it? We're, we're goofy tonight. It's, it's Friday, Friday night. night. And we're on time and you're all here. Hi, everybody. Hi, Hi Mary. I'm coming. I'm oh, just going to have a ladle all night Just long. tell me. This is conduct. We got Chicks. We got Gettysburg. We got Zach. We got AP. Oh, my gosh. Dehydrated steam. Thank you for it's 23 months. I can months. move things out of the way. 23 months. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> and Mary, thank you for five months. And Dave, hello. Wow. Oh, guys, this is so fun. So it is Friday night. We are doing Natty's. Sausage rolls. I got him the handshake. Yes. And we it's got him. Oh, good night. Baby boy. You want to give me another kiss? Back. No, 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 no. Love, love you so night. much. Time for bed. <laughs> sweet, sweet dreams. Oh, that's very sweet. So yes, the baby's going to bed. We are gonna <laughs> make sausage rolls because yum yum. And Yay. also, we love Maddie. <laughs> He's and we've never had a sausage roll. So, and boy, do the British people talk about they them. They talk about them a lot. And also, those looked really good. Yes. So and I'm did you also have a very different thought of what sausage rolls were? No. It's oh. just a roll of sausage and a pastry. What did you think it was? I thought it was like a stromboli. Okay. Like fair I thought enough. it was bread. Stromboli, I thought, was pasta. So, wow! Here we are, learning stuff. Yeah, I didn't. I had looked up the recipe when you said we could do sausage rolls or stromboli, and I looked up and went, oh, that's not what I thought that was. <laughs> you never had a stromboli? No. What no. about a calzone? Yeah, I've had a calzone. Just didn't know they were sister uh, sister bakes. Yeah. Uh, well, I've it, I think. Oh, Gail, hi. Hi, Ma. <laughs> what a cute baby, she says. Oh. <laughs> it's true. Gettysburg, thank you for the gifted Santa Crispy. Hot Greg sausage roll is very much a <laughs> Wait, is Stromboli not pasta? Crispy, look it up. It's different. <laughs> no, it's it different. Is it's not that. Does it, is Stromboli an East Coast thing? I have no idea. Because I very much grew up with Stromboli. I very much did not. But I also didn't grow up with a lot of different Italian foods. You know what I mean? Like, yes. I had... I had pasta and I had pizza and that was that. I have heard from Jay that like the <laughs> I'm just gonna have it all night. I love it so much. <laughs> um, that the East Coast like Italian food situation is different than the rest. Yeah, of that the tracks. Country. That totally makes like, sense. Because like a pizza place has pasta, stromboli, all of these sure, Italian sure, sure. dishes. Yeah, I don't think that's pizza. the same in, in Colorado. Mary, Probably correct not. me if I'm wrong. <laughs> I love Stromboli, says Captain C. It's very much like uh, in the desert southwest. Okay, so who knows? My coworker tried to Google Stromboli and spelled it Trompcaboli. Oh. <laughs> That's fun. A pasta dish that sounds like Stromboli. Mother, you will have to help me. Is it Timbola? Tom, Timpola? We went to this um, place the day before my baby shower uh -huh. that does it. I think it's called a Timbola. Okay. And they basically make a lasagna in a big bowl. Okay. But it's like lasagna, meatballs, penne, oh. ravioli. I'm making this up. Oh my God. And then like in like carbs wrapped and carbs and carbs. <laughs> in lasagna sheets. Oh. And like I love baked. lasagna and sheets. Turn it out. That's a good pasta right there. Lasagna oh, really? yeah. sheets. Yeah. Have you seen lasagna Hi, soup that? on TikTok? No. Looks so lasagna good. Lasagna soup. Oh my gosh. Yeah. All right. Well, we okay. do have to get started. Anyway, we okay. really have to start. We got, because we're making rough puff that needs to do some chilling. And so we are going to have some chill time tonight. But first, we got chill pasta. Chill time. Where did you put the uh, butter? The oh, rice. I put it in the ice. Ah, that's a good place for it. It's like so frozen. Lovely. Good. Okay, great. Okay. Okay. Great. <laughs> Literally. Get it? Uh, we're going to stay it. right into the light. <laughs> okay, great. Uh, <laughs> Dang, I just totally missed out. I do a pizza pop-up. Ooh, smart. You know that pizza Jason things. You should. Does anyone else know a, um... Oh, no one else is going to have to help me. The thing that we keep telling you and Jay to get, it's a... I don't know. Pizza, square, fried. Pan pizza? No. Like, a panzerati. Uh, panzerati. I've never heard that word in my life, so I have not been helping with this uh, mission. Okay, are we going Timbalo, says my into mother. Into the flour? Is that the plan? Yes. It's yes. a little more than 300 because each of these are 56. Okay. So, so we'll choose one that we do a little less of, or yeah. we just don't go all the way down with all of them. 
I think we'll just do a little less of one of them, like half of one. Oh, this is fun. Is it? Oh, good. Oh, it's not quite working. Oh, <laughs> shoot. We have two kinds of graters today. I have a spiralizer that I've never used. <laughs> It working. Oh, yeah. Maybe I chose the wrong uh, grater thing. I don't know if there's a better one. I don't think there was. Hmm. Just here. These are the others. No, oh, I think this one's fine. Yeah, I, think I think it's just not used to, to doing butter. Oh, fair enough. Fair enough. All right. Being very careful not to grate our fingers. You can use this. I'm going to. I okay. just used it wasn't ready. Because it has to be down a certain amount to. Well, I suppose I can do it now. <laughs> oh, it's like a tiny calzone. Yes. Ah. That just makes me think of Ben Wyatt from uh, Parks and Rec. Does he like calzones? He loves calzones. Oh, yeah. And it's it's a really hilarious bit where basically everyone gives him a very hard time for it. And he's like, calzones are the best. And everyone's like, shut up. What is wrong with you? Pizza. <laughs> no, I love a calzone. Ooh, Captain C says, someone get these ladies a slap chop. Slap We're not chop. chopping. But That's yeah. true. We're just... Although, Although that would be funny. <laughs> I like a mandolin slicer. I use them when I make apple chips. I have a mandolin slicer now. Barbara gave it to me. It's just at home. Didn't think of bringing it. But alas. But alas. <laughs> All right. So we're grating the butter. We are going to do <laughs> surprisingly taxing. <laughs> no. Do you want to switch? Maybe. Okay. I'd like you to experience this. <laughs> it just feels like I'm That's... opening a jar for a really long time. Oh, unpleasant. <laughs> I did not think that this was going to be the challenge part of the evening. No. <laughs> okay, we're getting there. Oh, oh Baha! Level 100. Hello. Oh, Baha, thank you for all the Thank gifts. you. Oh my gosh. Crispy says, I've never used a mandolin and not cut the crap out of my fingers at least once. I have yet to use it. I'm terrified of it. But you know, yeah, plus I think a gift. I probably can't be trusted with a mandolin. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, they get food poisoning when they eat mini calzones for a wedding. Yes, right. they absolutely do. It's like the it's the it's the tasting. It's they they're trying to figure out what to uh, include in their wedding. Uh, and they the get very, very, very sick. And it's one of the funniest series of uh, uh -huh. scenes. Ooh, that okay. one's very satisfying. Okay. And he says to do half of the butter, mix it up, then the other half. Oh, okay, great. Well and that's probably how much? How much have I done? One, two, three. Half the butter, mix it up, and then what? And then the other half of the butter and mix it up. So it says to use a knife. So not to roll it out and then put the butter on and then fold it? No. Interesting. Okay, so Maddie does a rough puff a little differently. Yeah, he basically just does high crust. Huh. Fascinating. Yeah. Here, let's okay. read it. I'll read it aloud. Grate half of the butter, place in bowl with flour, and combine using knife to avoid touching with hands. Grate remaining butter and combine with flour. Using knife, cut butter and flour to create a crumb texture. Add nearly all of the water and combine using a knife to create the dough. If remaining water is required, add place dough in cling film and leave in the fridge for an hour. Okay, great. So, here we go. Easy peas, although I should measure water. All right, and how much have we decided it was, we did, it was 56 for each one and there were six of them, right? Yes. So six times 50 is the 300 that we need and so there's 36 extra grams, so like this, this, and that. I'm talking about sure. Just trying to decide Amanda does how much. math. I do do math, guys. I did a calculus AP exam this morning in preparation for assigning it to my student because I needed to make sure it was how fun quality. for you. It was quite a way to spend my Friday, <laughs> and I found typos, so I had to be like, wait, in the test? Right? Yes. It's fine. It's fine. All right. So there's butter. Here's one more. Oh! I'll do some do, of this. Yeah, and then I'll do some more. Do some more. I had a thought this week, and it's not like a fully formed thought, so I'm going to share it with you, Internet, and you tell me what you think of this. So we you know how films. in... This is going to be very musical theater. I'm so <laughs> okay. So you know how in Little Shop of Horrors... Yes! The song, Somewhere That's Green, yes. is very much... Part Sounds of your like part world. of your world. Yeah. Right. Same same writer. Mm -hmm. Same composer. So it makes sense. Same era. Yes. But I in my brain, 
started singing Part of Your World, but as Audrey. Is that one of mine? Sorry. Might have been mine. <laughs> no. It's just for us. Um, that was a hair for those of you who missed it. Yum, yum. Um, but anyway, so I started singing, like, look at this stuff. Isn't it neat? What did you think my collection's complete? And then I had this whole thing about, like, what if it turns into, like, Part of Your World into Suddenly Seymour? And then I was trying to, like, write a mashup that would, like, be a medley. And I feel like it's got legs. I feel like it's possible that it's great. So I hand that over to you, dear viewer, and you can make something of it. Okay. Butter. Butter. What do you think? Is it a terrible idea? Do you think it's got legs? I feel no, like I it's got legs. So. I don't think everything was done I mean, it. I don't think it's got legs. <laughs> I think it's got What's tails. What's that word again? <laughs> oh, feet. Oh, <laughs> Mary says definitely got legs. I would like everyone to know that the first time any musical theater girl ever tried to act, it was going, what's that word again? Yeah, what's that feet? word again? Oh, feet. Like, do you have memories yes. of like doing that in the mirror? A thousand percent in the tub. In the tub, yes. I would like it's the position first myself time. like a... Because if you think about it, when you're little, you're singing along to music, but that's oh, the first time there's like, like something to words say. in in song. the song and you're and like you gotta act right through it you just gotta act on the yeah words. what's that word again <laughs> me <laughs> i really wanted to see it when evan rachel wood was in it but couldn't afford it oh i also did not see that if it oh, makes you feel right. like that, Dave. um i didn't anyway, see it with i'm gonna either. work on that and see if i can come up with something uh what am i doing i'm doing nothing i'm just spinning around in circles do you want to pour in the, some of the water yeah where's the water right there that makes sense. Okay. And then until the dough forms. It's looking promising. Yes. It really is very pie crust. I know. And the instructions were to use all the water? Yeah. Great. Can and add more different. if needed. Okay, great. Which we might. We might. Let's see how we do. How are your arms? I'm going to take over. I think they're okay. okay. Do you have a saran wrap? Of course not. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I have tin foil or I have a gallon Ziploc bag. Let's use the gallon Ziploc bag. Okay, they're like under here. Correct. choice. Maybe take a little more water? I think just a touch, yeah. Can you do the Annie from Community Disney Princess face? Oh my god. I don't think I know that bit. I've watched all of Community. I'm bad at retaining information. Oh, sure. Yeah, that's Annie. <laughs> The, uh, when she, when they do the Glee episode, did you ever see that episode of Community? Probably. It's I've seen them all, Basically but where they, a like, more water, I think? Glee has taken over and is, like, slowly, one by one, they are getting sort of sucked in. And, uh, Annie is, it's Christmas, it's a Christmas episode, and Annie is trying to get Jeff to join and oh, dresses yes, I've seen up this. in Santa and then does. Yep. <laughs> The Christmas baby song, and it makes me laugh so freaking hard. But it is the quintessential Annie Princess face. Seriously? Please, he'll figure it out. Okay. I'm trying to be better about putting him to letting him figure out how to sleep on his end and not falling asleep in daddy's arms. <laughs> but he loves his daddy's arms. I know, he loves to him now. Okay, that's a little shaggy, right? Yeah. I just, I tend towards not enough water. I see. And okay. then I have to end up like adding water as and I'm rolling it out. And that's a great thing. Yes, I'm with you. Maybe just a, a hair more. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's a bit too much. No, I think we're good. Perfect. Okay. Bantha says hello. Hey. Tricky. I got to do it. I get to do a test bake of gluten free coffee cake this weekend. Ooh, Ooh that sounds la fun. La. All right, yeah, let's throw this in there. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna steal some of this pizza. Do it. Yeah, we're about to have yeah, some. Yeah, we are. As soon as this gets chilling, like a villain. Chilling like <laughs> a villain. That's from um, Broad uh, Broadway's Disney's Descendants. Oh. Great. 
Perfect. I'm okay. taking three pieces. Is that okay? Yeah, yeah. I'm actually not super hungry. And plus we have chips, and we're going to get sausage rolls later. I know. I just wanted to make sure you guys have something to eat. I appreciate you. Alright, so we'll start in the fridge and then maybe go into the freezer, or should we go right to the freezer? Mm. Maybe fridge for like five. Fridge for a little bit, just to just like to let like, everything yeah, yeah, yeah. come together and hydrate, and then we'll go to the freezer. We're going to try to use the freezer to speed things along a little bit tonight, because it's, it's Friday night, you know? we got places to be, people it's to Friday see. Friday night, <laughs> and I judge. <laughs> they banned the best episode of Community, the D&D &D one, you know? Yeah. yeah. They like... <laughs> I get it. I understand why they didn't want that out there, but it was an excellent episode. Oh, is it gone now? It's gone now. It's the one where Chang is in blackface. So, like, yeah, sure. it makes sense, mm -hmm. but also, it's a bummer because it was a funny episode. Also, it's also, also, I really, I don't know. I really, that's my, that's my favorite episode. It's an excellent episode. That's I'm actually I'm not sure it's that like, I've seen it. My favorite is the Abed's Uncontrollable Christmas, the claymation one. That one? Rocks oh, yeah. my shit. I, I also like the, the <laughs> Why can't I retain media? I've watched all of Community. <laughs> I have, I remember none of these references. Uh, I like the My Dinner with Andre episode as well. Mm. That is a very good one. That is a very good one. Yeah. I mean, and it's it's got some bangers. The last season is not great, but the VR episode with the Dean oh, is yeah. really... Yeah. VR Dean. episode's great. I loved the, um, the one where they uh, go into the video game. For the will, like that's for the, actually like, a great episode. That's a great episode. It's really good. Chevy Chase's dad, um, like dies, and then they, in order to like play for the inheritance, have to win this old school mm -hmm. style video game, and they're like little characters in it. I thought it was so fun. Or when they have to go to that KFC. Uh, oh yeah. Space, space <laughs> <ship>. <laughs> Unity, great show. Wow. Love it. Love it. <laughs> um, a rare occasion. Hi, Cha. Hello. Welcome! You're catching us live! We're making sausage rolls! Uh, the uh, Maddie from Bake Off made them, and we wanted to give him a shot. And he got a handshake, so. It's true, he did. The monitor's by the chair, this, babe. I keep having to, oh. to try and get to see Dave's messages. Okay. Um, 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 um. Okay, so I keep almost let's... picking up the vinegar to drink. No, don't do that. No, no. I don't need myself. <laughs> yeah. It's an appealing color. I'll give it that. Mm -hmm. That's true. Uh, can we just talk through our next yes. step here? Because I feel like we need to be making the filling while we're in this little break. Asleep. Amazing. The babe is asleep. All right. <clears throat> okay. Finally chop onions and place in a pan with oil and butter along with salt and pepper. Whilst cooking, <laughs> peel, core, and grate apples. And oh, oh. Good catch. And add into pan along with vinegar. Okay, great. So when onions begin to soft and go translucent, add sugar until completely caramelized. Where do your cutting boards live? Mm. Next to the oven. The to mine. the left. Yep. Alright. One might be in the dishwasher. So we're gonna try a trick here that oh. we heard about for onions. Are we gonna use that again later? No. Think? Okay, I'm just gonna fill it with water and have it yeah. be the, the thing that's wet that's nearby. Okay, so this is the the <laughs> potential trick is that onions, when you cut them, the little like thing that makes your eyes sting is attracted to moisture. So if you have like a cup of water nearby, in theory, it will attract that <laughs> instead of your eyeballs. So we are gonna give it a try. All right. Are you making puff pastry? Bantha, we are making rough puff. So it's like, basically it's like in between puff pastry and pie crust, really. Um, but this recipe from Maddie is a little bit closer to pie crust. Yeah. Do you wanna both chop or do you wanna, I feel like probably mm -hmm. one of us. Yeah, you want to? Yeah, well, and we can uh, take turns. We can take turns. Okay, and we're just finely chopping, right? Yes. I'm remembering that, uh... Here, trash. <laughs> that what? Oh, perfect. I'm remembering chopping in front of you last time I got embarrassed. <laughs> so now I'm going to be chopping in front of you again. We'll see how we do. I'm not good at chopping onions. I, I mean, they're, you know, I guess with the right knife it can go okay, but definitely not my favorite thing to do. All right. Great. It's a little edge. Okay. Great. All right. So, uh... I'm gonna cut the other direction. 
<laughs> I don't think it matters. Well, so here's what I was going to say. Oh, yeah. This and then this. Oh, I thought caramelized onions already happening. A little bit. Caramelized onions don't, they stay long. But I said, but okay, so finely chop. I thought they just needed to be small pieces. Oh. In order to be the correct. Finely chop onions. Does he have a video of him actually making these? Let's see. No, just eating them. I feel like finely chop means okay. small little bits. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Yeah, finely chop is small little bits. Thank small you. little bits? Oh. I absolutely would have made like stringy caramelized onions <laughs> and tried I mean, to put them on top of okay. the sausage. Here's the thing. It's still going to be delicious yeah. either way. And oh. I've never... Yeah. Stringy. Oh, those are stringy. Okay. So then... Well, shit. <laughs> well, I don't care. I have, we can do a mix. Fascinating. I know. I just don't want them to be too thick. In half? Oh, the other way. So, okay. Well, but I mean. Oh, yeah. Well, oh. that works. Yeah. <laughs> You're brave. I'll leave this. <laughs> I'm a weeping. I'm going to have another piece. The cup of water did not nothing. Out. I'll do the next one. Okay, great. So you thought go this way? Yeah. To make the thing. So, okay. And that does make little stringies. Yeah. Okay, makes sense. Although, yes, I would have probably written this as finely sliced. Yeah, or like, yeah, interesting though. I put mascara on. I forgot about it. <laughs> I'm gonna look. Really I was really good. confused as to where that had come from. Yeah, it's my face. <laughs> like that. Oh, hilarious. Okay. And then is this going in here? Mm -hmm. That's okay. Do do do. <laughs> I'm just gonna be a wee The sweet mess. onions don't make you cry. Interesting. Thank you, Gail. Onions are gag-inducing for me. Oh, oh no, Mary. Awesome. Oh, are we doing all these onions, by the way? The recipe called for five onions. One, two, three, four, five. I know. <laughs> However, <laughs> I did once see that English onions significantly smaller than American onions. I see. Okay. Well, and I think this is the kind of thing where we can also, like, make a judgment call based on what we yeah. like. Right? I know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'll do the next one. I'll do this one. It's fine. You know what? I feel like one of us should cry. You know what I mean? <laughs> Just let me suffer for a little while, and then if it becomes truly unbearable, we'll swap out. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Overworked. I am a trooper. That's my whole thing. Okay. <laughs> so, Kimberly, tell me about your week. <laughs> well, I weep. <laughs> My week went very quickly. Yeah? Well, that's nice. I know. I'm not sure why. We don't question these things. No. We say thank you and we move on. James has been going to sleep by 7.30 every night. Amazing. Which does mean he's been waking up a little early. Mm. <clears throat> but it actually makes the day better if he eats by 7 ah. in the morning. Makes sense. <sighs> <laughs> Oh, is it having you? Oh no! Also, do you think my glasses are helping me? Oh, maybe. Yeah, a little barrier. <laughs> Vic <laughs> under the nose, but then you have the stink of Vic. Oh, like Vic's vapor rub. Oh, like Vic's vapor rub. rub. Oh, that's clever, huh? It never ever occurred to me. Yeah, I guess a stronger smell to like <laughs> grab that woman a tissue. I do need a tissue. Supposedly tomorrow it's going to be great weather. I may travel to the city and go to Central Park. Oh my you gosh! Should. Yeah. If it's nice out, for uh, sure. Yeah, I'll, I'll keep going. going. I'll keep going. Keep no, no, going. no, 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 no. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Actually, this reminds me. Okay. So, when we had uh, a roommate for a little while, Ryan, um, he liked to cook. And he would do meal prep. Mm -hmm. And he, would, he made this... Uh, crock pot recipe once and I think it was something like slow like uh, pulled pork like slow roasted but like had yeah. a bunch of onions in it and for whatever reason the onions he got were just like so, so intense and Adam didn't know that he was doing that so Adam's in the office editing and he is none the wiser and the onion 
scent creeps in and starts attacking his eyeballs. And he did not know what was going on. So he thought he was having some massive allergic reaction oh, to like no. the air. So I get home and I walk in and I'm I like, you know, hey honey, how's it going? And he turns around and he's got bright red eyes and he goes, <laughs> something's wrong. <laughs> okay what's what's happening he was like I don't know what's happening just my eyes are burning everything hurts like I just he was like so upset and I was like well you know Ryan was was cooking and he was like he was cooking what was he cooking and I was like well there's onions and he was like that's what this is it's highly comical but we this had feels to have like a, a lot of onions it does feel like a lot of onions are we gonna chop them later it feels weird because it's it has to go inside the well who knows I don't know okay uh, let's be done. Let's be done. We're done. <laughs> Hold on. There's plenty. All right. Are we using? Yes, I'm assuming. The one that you have prepped is the thing we're using. Yeah. Makes sense. Okay, great. Um, and we want to do A little this. olive oil and a knob of butter. A knob. Which is one of my favorite ingredients. A little olive oil. What do you think a little is? Like that? Maybe a little more. And ha we just happen to have perfect knobs. <laughs> <Right. Yeah. laughs> It's Friday night. That'll be a little while. Oh. Okay. So I was just saying that we both never caramelized onions before. That's more of a perfect <laughs> No! You get out of here. Mary Don't get says out of here. they'll probably cook down quite a bit. That's a good point. Mm. And Rob says onions are evil things. Well, should I do one more? All right. I'll do one more. I got this. <laughs> oh, you did two. I'll no, do two. I, do. I got it. I got it. <laughs> I don't know why I did it that way. That didn't work at all well last time. <laughs> I don't know. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Oh my god. All right. The absolute chaos. Okay. Mm. Mm. The recent celeb bake off has been good. <gasps> There's. It's what happening? is it? Oh my gosh. Let's get that here. Ugh. Sad. <sighs> Agree. Onions are evil. <laughs> Amanda's not crying because of the onions. She just loves baking so much it makes her cry. Dave, you know, you're right. Sure. That's exactly what's happening. I just love sausage rolls. What inspired a Friday stream instead of a Sunday or a Saturday one? Scheduling! Scheduling! This one was a you scheduling thing, right? Or was Do it a you have something tomorrow thing? morning to do? No. <laughs> oh, I'm going to get my hair cut tomorrow. Oh, that's what it is. I was like, I don't remember what the content and we, was. And we were like, we could do it earlier, but that sounds terrible. No, it's not. Um, and then I will be with my family for Easter, so. Right. So, here we are. Yeah. But my hair has never been this long in my life. So. <laughs> and I'm not getting my hair cut. I need to. It requires so a cut. Desperately. Uh, we'll, see, we'll see Amelia today. Yeah. Perfect. I think that is the thing. My my like usual can, hairdresser like this. didn't make it been able to go like this. Oh yeah, I uh, pulled my pants up from going to the bathroom earlier, and my hair was in my pants. <laughs> and I went, "Nope, this cannot be the thing." Hey, you need a haircut. I need a haircut. Oh my god, you know, it's so long. Okay, onions are done. <sighs> Actually, that one wasn't too bad. My no onion peeps, I have found you. <laughs> oh, it's the Stand Up to Cancer Bake Off. Oh, cool. Yeah, I don't love onions unless they are really thoroughly caramelized. Mm. All right, okay. well, so they're, here they go. Really thoroughly caramelized them. All right, so we're just putting it in with oil and butter and then letting it sit for a very long time? Yeah. Okay, great. Oh. Learned the hard way. I cannot be in the same room as prepping onions. Yay, food service jobs. Yeah, man. This stuff is not for sissies or for normal people with eyeballs. Nat had a horrible time getting a haircut. She has curly hair and she can't seem to find anyone who gets it. Oh, that sucks. Oh, yeah. Yeah, curly hair is its own. I went to a curly hair salon once. Oh, yeah? How about yeah. that? Uh, felt a little like a scam, but was good. Yeah. And the thing is, it is, like, curly hair behaves so differently. Yeah. And, and like, like, what they did was correct, and I used a lot of the, oh, my God. Are you okay? Yeah. Uh, a lot of the, like, methods they taught me, I still use. Yeah. But, um, 
the whole thing was like, ah, you're part of the curly crew, like, we'll teach you, and I'm just like, this seems like a little too much. There's got to be somewhere in between. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, my uh, my salon didn't make it through the pandemic, and I just oh, haven't no. found somebody I like. Well, if you want to go to Philadelphia. <laughs> Yeah, if I branched out out of the city, I probably could find some great options. Chick says, wow, I'm the exact opposite from Kimberly. I don't mind raw onions, but I do not enjoy cooked onions in any forms. Oh, a raw onion is the grossest thing. Whew. All right, now we have to chop an apple. Right. It was peel and chop, right? Or, or was it yeah, corn, corn and chop, but yeah. Or corn slice. Yes. Yes. I'm looking it up. Give me your face. <clears throat> okay. Oh, we have to put salt and pepper in there. Oh. <laughs> oh, it makes sense. Yep. All right, whilst cooking, peel, core, and grate apples. So we're grating the apples. Oh. Yeah. That's interesting. All right, so peel, core, and grate apples and add into the pan along with vinegar. So the sugars from the apples is what's going to caramelize the onions, I think. And I think there's also brown sugar. Oh, yep. No? Add into sugar and cook until completely caramelized. You are correct. Interesting. Okay. It's funny that we would grate the apples but not the onions. No, no, right? All right. Do you have a peeler? Yes. I have the world's best peeler. Aha! From Granny Kit. Yes, yes. Okay. How many apples did we say? One. Just one? I think so. It said plural in the recipe. Oh, then maybe. Pouring great apples. Just why would it bring up more than one? It's weird. Where was the Maybe actual it's recipe? It's in the comments. Oh, right. Two cooking apples. Mm -hmm. I can only tolerate onions if they're chopped up into tiny, tiny pieces like a McDonald's cheeseburger. Oh, other than onion rings, because those I rock. Absolutely. The amount of times I have used a french fry to scrape the onions <laughs> off of a McDonald's cheeseburger. All right. Yeah, I don't mind onions. I just, uh, I struggle to cut them. So, you know. <laughs> Dave says, ugh, green apples. No thanks, I'm an apple purist. Okay, but I think these are cooking apples, yeah, which is different. Yeah, you put green apples in a thing. But would you consider a cooking apple? Also, I love a green apple. Yeah. I don't really They're have so strong tart. feelings about it. Yeah. All right. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, I'm going to let those. Do you want to rinse the grater for one of them? <laughs> I can grate while you. Perfect. This is fun. <laughs> oh, we got trouble. <laughs> yeah. Uh, did you ever do that show? We talked about this. No. Have you? I've done the show two times. Marion. Marion and also villager. <laughs> I think I had a line when I was a villager. It was very fun. No. In fact, I'm not sure I've ever seen The Music Man. Really? Yeah. Oh, it's a fun show. It's I think very... I've seen the movie once. Okay. Yeah. I mean, that's it. It's uh, nothing, like, special. It's one of those that, like, I have enjoyed. Hi, Rexy. 
it's like harder than it should be. Oh, Rex, hi. Thank you for the subscription. 23 months. Whoa, whoa. Collage. What's collage? A collage. Collage. It's like a sweet bun of some kind, right? Sweet buns. <laughs> yeah. Yeah? Okay. It's a very Midwestern thing. I have not heard of it. I think. Kimberly, we just saw a Hallmark movie where two women get sucked into a Hallmark movie town full of all the cliches, so they have to save Christmas. It was very funny. That sounds great. That sounds awesome. Please leave the name, Dave. Yes. Hey, Fetch. Welcome. We're making sausage rolls. Currently prepping some apples to go into our caramelized onions. <sighs> Which is a fun thing. That how is your baby? <laughs> Tell me all. There are indeed Kalashis? Kalachis? Kalachis. Kalachis in St. Louis, at least. Though I know they're big in Texas. Everything's big in well, Texas. they're big in Texas. I bet my uncle likes those. I have an uncle who's like, was a chef in Texas and often brings his bakes or his chef things. He's the one who made all the tamales at the berry. Have I ever oh. told you this story? <laughs> I think so. I probably have. It was my grandfather's 80th birthday and we were up in the mountains and my we had like 300 tamales. Like so many tamales in the back of a truck and it got wrenched open and they were all like unwrapped nicely. Oh, and no. like it was just this trail and it was the bear. The bear had himself a little tamale feast. Well, there wouldn't. I mean, yeah, it was a little devastating because that's a lot of work and a lot of, you know, money and everything. But, but you know the bear enjoyed it. Really funny, yeah. <laughs> Can't blame the bear. This is what I'm saying. <laughs> Dave, I'm so curious. What was the name of that homework movie? I want to watch it. Yeah, and why did you only tell me? <laughs> I mean, I care, Dave. I don't watch as many of those movies. That's fair. That's more of a you thing. I did realize the other day that I have to, like, really... Jay will laugh at me. Because <laughs> I guess what Jay's going to say is... What you mean to say is you want to find a hobby. Because I realized yesterday I was like, I get home from work at, like, 6.45, and yeah. James is asleep by 7.30. Right. And then on Thursday nights, Jay is uptown recording the content for you folks. Uh -huh. um, so I'm just, like, all alone. Yeah. From 7.30, and I'm like, I can't leave the house. Well, there you have it. Because the baby is upstairs. Oh my gosh, high five fingers. Welcome. Hello. Happy Friday. We are making uh, Maddie's, Maddie from uh, Bake Off this year, uh, sausage rolls. I am weeping because I cut a bunch of onions, um, so yes, that's that. Wow, did your makeup really just... Wipe uh, all off? Yeah. Great. Uh, so no, yeah. but in a good way. In a good way. Great. I mean, that, <laughs> all the, it was quite around your eyes. Yeah. And now you tracks. look right. <laughs> um, so we're grating some apples. We're caramelizing onions. We've got dough, uh, rough puff dough. How much vinegar did it say? In Vinegar's the left. fridge. How much, huh? Vinegar. It said one tablespoon, I think. One tablespoon. Haha. -ha. Do you have... Uh... I don't know. It's one of James's favorite toys right now, so oh, it okay. might not be in there. <laughs> There's a half. Wait. Oh, two okay. of these. Two of those. Nah. Got about my pizza. Mm -hmm. Oh, Bantha, thank you for the gifted sub. All right. Apple meat. All right. Mm -hmm. Apples and onions. Does feel like a thing that you like don't want to mix up? I know. <laughs> hmm. Should we move the dough to the freezer? Okay. All right. We're speeding things along a little bit tonight. Just because it's Friday night, we want to get these sausage rolls made. So, now what? Oh. Let's see. I don't know why I smiled at my phone. <laughs> I love that. All right, so it's going to be 20 grams of light brown sugar that go in there, and then we're going to prep the sausage meat. 
So once onions begin to go soft and translucent, add the sugar and cook until fully caramelized. They're kind of soft and translucent. All right. Okay. Yeah. Get 20 grams They're of that. They're going soft and translucent, you know? All right. Let's give it maybe another minute or two, but then we'll get the sugar in there. How will we know when they're fully caramelized? Hmm. I don't know. Do you have a trick for how you get a... Oh, there we go. Never mind. Oh, yeah. I kind of forgot we needed this sugar. I didn't get any new. It's fine. It'll go in there. I think it will be a hatch. We only need 20 grams. Yeah. All right, I mean... Are we using this for anything? Yeah, no. It's called A Christmas Movie Christmas. That sounds oh, perfect. <laughs> that sounds awesome. Oh, yeah. Okay. 20 grams. What do you think? Adding sugar and cook until completely caramelized. That's the full instruction. So we will just, I guess, keep an eye on it and we'll let it burn. Guess. We'll just guess. Okay, and then we get to make sausage meat. In a bowl, combine sausage meat, garlic, herbs, and spices, and mix thoroughly. I didn't get garlic. Oh, balls. On purpose. What? Poor peel and great apple. More apple? Are to do one apple? Oh, no, no. This is another apple. Okay. Huh. Okay, great. Yeah, it's just broken down into the in the ingredients under like different pieces. Great, fine. Do you have a thousand grams of spiced sausage meat? <laughs> I got two packs. Great. <laughs> um. Oh, hi, Papa Panda. Hope you two are having a good night cooking up the rolls. Glad to see y'all. Glad to see you too. Thank you for being here. Um. Throw a piece of bread and brown sugar. Voila! Always soft brown sugar. That is a good tip. Have you ever done that before? Bread. Piece of bread in there? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Alright. We should weigh it. 453. That's what that says. So, so almost. Yeah, that'll be fine. Yeah. <laughs> that'll be fine. Alright. I have a sausage. I mean, this is fine. Yeah. This is fine. <laughs> I'm not worried about it. Um, do you have a preference for what bowl we use? I suppose we could use this bowl. That bowl. This bowl? Yeah. Too small? Might be okay. Fine. Might be okay. All right. So, do you want to not include the garlic? I don't have any garlic. We're not so including yeah. the garlic. Perfect. There's probably garlic in the meat already. Yeah, makes sense. Okay. So then, oregano, rosemary, chili flakes, black pepper, one cooking apple. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Just kind of doing the spices. All right. Does the bread not go moldy? I think it dries out too quickly. Yeah, I've never had a problem with the. If I've used bread, it's it's worked. It's never yeah. gone moldy or anything. It's an no. interesting little trick. And I don't think you leave it in there for months. Oh, fair point. You <laughs> swap it out. New bread. It had one of the funniest jokes where a little girl in the town asks one of the sisters, one of the leads, if she will go to the Christmas party in town, and she says, "Ah, of course I will." Token, adorable child. You didn't want to be ripping to it like a bear? No. <laughs> There's no tamales for you. No tamales for you. I'm giving myself texture time. You, uh, by all means. Yep. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Yep, yep, yep. The moisture from the bread is what keeps the sugar soft. It isn't oh, yeah. in there too long to go moldy. I usually swap out every three to four days. Oh, wow. That's fast. I definitely didn't do it that often when I, when I did that trick. Yeah, Dave, that sounds like the kind of movie I would write slash want to be in. <laughs> Wait, I think I've seen some of it on TikTok. Oh, really? Is That's it the one where they're just like, um... There's just like a really long name for the fair. 
That's hilarious. Do you want to add some spices to this while I put oh, my yeah. hands in it? Then again, sometimes it's therapeutic to take out some small scale rage on a block of brown sugar. It's truth, I fingers. Shalara says, lessons learned from my great grandma. Oh, I love that. <laughs> How can you not watch these movies, Amanda? You were a natural in your movie. Dave, I do watch them. Just, just not as much. Just not as, I'm just not as much of a like, yeah. Like it's my hobby, uh, as yes. it were, after the baby goes to bed. <laughs> We got new spices. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's going great. Listen, <laughs> this doesn't require a ton of finesse. Are you okay? Yeah, I think I just got some in my throat. Oh no. Rosemary that smells good. They're all new. Love it. Sorry, I'm forcing you to open all of them. That's fine. You're not forcing me to touch the meat. It's true. Oregano. 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 Uh, my dad, every Christmas, makes sausages or salamis. Sorry, salamis. And so there's a huge, like a make vat a of meat. Yes. It's basically like sausage. It's like that kind like of cures. Yeah. Uh, and so he, like, has a bowl probably this big of this, and he just gets in there with his hands and this and those visceral, like, hey, Tom. You know Today. what I realized you could do? What? Use your mixer. Oh, yeah. Eh, that's fine. That's fine. But why use a mixer when Amanda wants when to touch it? When I will it? touch it. <laughs> oh, wait. Um, I don't have fresh sage, so I'm just going to okay. do a teaspoon of Fine. that. This is all, I think, just to flavor, yeah. you know what I mean? And like then, we can do whatever we do. Friday night stream, <laughs> because Kimberly's got a haircut tomorrow, and so Listen, we wanted wanted to, you know, ourselves. <laughs> and also Friday night, why not? It's fun. Yeah. So thank you for being here. I'm running low on pepper, but there's already spices in there, so yeah. it's fine. Should be okay. Did we do salt, too? No. Should I? I think probably at least a little. Great. Sounds squelchy. It is squelchy. Sounds squelchy. <laughs> it is. Rosemary makes sense. From what I've gathered in Desperate Sources, it rounds a lot of the harsher flavors and makes the end product a bit more cohesive and well-rounded. Whether that's true or Chef Lori is, uh, who's to say? Tarragon is also lovely. <laughs> I love tarragon. Yeah. Is the stream video frozen for anyone also? No. I can no. hear everything but the image is paused. Sorry, Rob. I have no idea because we cannot see our own stream. So, question mark? I hope it's just your internet, but also I'm sorry if it's just your internet. Whew. And you're right, uh, my fingers did just get very cold. The use a mixer uh, the hack is probably the better choice. Mine froze for a bit better now. Okay, sorry guys. Yeah, give it the old refresh. Hopefully it uh, just is refreshes straight back. All right, so I'm gonna get the apple ready. Ready the apple. Ready the apple. Um, I just watched all of the Gilded Age. Oh yeah? I haven't seen any of it. Which now means I have started Downton Abbey again from okay. the beginning. <laughs> also, never seen an episode. I'm bad at watching new things. I will watch a lot of a thing I know well, I like. Not, oh, I see what you mean by new. I, I was like, never, it's yeah. new. No, I know. <laughs> I very much missed the boat on it. But yeah, if I don't like get on it yeah. early, I really struggle to like go pick it up and huh. watch it. I know. I'm weird. Are you using fennel seeds? We're not. I hate fennel seeds. Is that I just me? Don't have strong opinions about fennel seeds. So. That's literally. I didn't like sausage as a kid. I was oh. like, I hate sausage, <gasps> and I think I just hate fennel seeds. Yeah. Because when I started dating Jay, he eats a lot of sausage. Right. He was. Um, he would make like a chicken sausage every day for breakfast, and so if I slept over, I'd have to be like, yummy. <gasps> and Wait, I was so you very. It? <laughs> oh no. Um, but then I was just like, Wait, this is good. <laughs> Why is this different? 
And now so I like things. Sauces. I love I love discovering things like as an adult that you thought you hated but you just blueberries. Like, Blueberries. Yes. Chicken sausages? No, I did. I didn't like sausages, so I should have said no, thank you, but I didn't, and then I liked them. <laughs> Remember how when we first started dating, you taught me all the foods I had never actually tried? You're just tried? not allowed to say you don't like something if you've never tried it. <laughs> yeah. It's as simple as that. Yeah. So it turns if out you, I like blueberries. I learned when I was twenty-four. If you tried it <laughs> and you don't like it, then that's fine. <laughs> or if you're Adam Lash and you know your body. Well, Love you, sweetie. Are you watching? Well, child. <laughs> you know that thing where they say like your tongue knows what everything feels like. No, I've never heard that. Oh, they say <laughs> that like your tongue, like if you look at something, you know what it would feel like on your tongue. Look at okay. anything in the house. <laughs> Just look at the plastic bottle. You know what it would feel like. You're right. Um, I think it's because as babies, as I'm witnessing on my own, uh -huh. um, everything did touch your tongue. <laughs> so we do know what everything feels like. <laughs> <laughs> my finger says you sound like my mother from when I was six, Jay. <laughs> yeah, but he's right. Turns out I like oh. a lot of things. B doesn't like fennel either. Also, hi, I used B. to be a really big eater, and then I started dating Jay Schmidt. <laughs> Amanda, if too many people tell me I need to check out a show because it's really good, I'll hit a point of you're not the boss of me and just never watch it. Oh yeah, that was me in Game of Thrones. Oh, I feel you. And then I, finally, I like Du Bois. I, I get like it. it's less defiance for me, and it's more just like despair. Like my brain just goes, I will not do that. I refuse to participate, and yeah. and like I just then don't do it. <laughs> or like I'll like a show and then it gets popular, and uh, I will stop watching the show. <laughs> oh man. We watch them so much we've decided we'll write one that revolves around Arbor Day. Oh my god, incredible. That involves a lumberjack who's secretly a prince and a widowed woman with a child whose reporter tracks him. That sounds great. <laughs> I'll act in it, Dave. I'll be the lumberjack. Oh, we also need to add flour. To the sausage. Yes. Yes. Yeah, it said add the spices and then add the flour and the flour. And the, no, okay, great. Two tablespoons. Two tablespoons. So not much. Can do. <laughs> Can do attitude. What if it was do we want to check on the freezer dough and make sure it's not getting too cold? Because we got to be able to roll it, right? Let's maybe put it it's back good. in the fridge. It's okay. All right. No, I think it's fine. It's fine. Okay. Yeah. I just panicked. No, it's still very soft. Papa Panda says, I haven't watched something someone's recommended to me since the first season of Stranger Things. I'm done. <laughs> Incredible. One. And then this apple, right? Yep. Perhaps we need a sugar <laughs> bowl. No, I've got it. I just need to be delicate. <laughs> Sauce grouchy. It's getting even squelchier with that apple in there. Ted Lasso, Ted Lasso is worth watching. Lasso, Lasso, Ted Lasso is worth watching if recommended. A thousand percent. That is one of the best shows of this century. It's sausage log in the middle of pastry, and evenly cover with the onions. Fold pastry over sausage mix. Roll once to fully encase. Okay, great. Cut away the excess. Pack down surface. Alright, we'll figure it out. I will divide this into two and roll it into logs. Right? That's what we said? Yes. Divide into two and roll into fifty centimeter logs on a floured surface. Will you flower my surface? Yeah. I'm also I don't want to put meat on my counter, so I'm gonna give you fair. <laughs> Because I'm weird about food poisoning, because when I was pregnant, it was really important. And turns out anything can poison you. Yup. I promise I'm being very careful with where my hands go. <laughs> That's okay. 
I am though. I actually, I am like, I'm weirdly like the sensory experience of having neat hands. You know what I mean? Like I am like very, very careful. And I oh yes, I'm aware thoroughly. of just like I've touched this and this, and I must now mm-hmm. I literally sanitize, sanitize yes, the yes, top yes. of the thing. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah. Um, I don't know what fifty centimeters looks like. That is a good question. Well, did you have a ruler or a measuring? I feel like we could tape? probably. Like, is it this? Is it this? 50, okay. One, How many two, is... Three, four, five. 50 centimeters in inches. Yeah, I feel like it's about this length. That feels right. 19, 19 inches. inches. So, yeah. So, there to that. That's right. right. Let's just do that. We can do that. Oh, I'm so happy I get to catch oh. you. I was sleeping on Saturdays. Jealous. Oh my gosh. You know, oh, you work street. nights. Oh. <laughs> that makes Not sense. Jealous. Well, welcome. Happy Friday night. Hello. It's a stream. We're making sausage rolls. Currently rolling the sausage. Um, the we have uh, some rough puff pastry chilling in the freezer actually because we're trying to speed things along a little bit. Yeah. Uh, and we've got we're hungry onions that are caramelizing. Oh, they are. Look at that dough. Yeah. They are so brown. Let's keep an eye on them and make sure they don't burn. They always tell people they didn't go enough. Yeah, but let's make sure they don't burn because that's, I feel like, with the sugar in there, they could burn. (laughs) Damn, I'm hungry now. Yeah. Dave says, I had to stop watching Game of Thrones. It just got too intense. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I have, like... Uh, House of Cards was that for me? Oh, never even started. Ooh, that. I well, because Rachel was in it, and that was Rachel Brosnahan was oh, yeah. a, a friend of mine. I mean, acquaint like we were in a few classes together um, from college, and she's the marvelous Mrs. Maisel. But before she was that, she was in House of Cards, and I wanted to support her. And it's a very good show, and also just so upsetting, and I could not. Who's the main it. guy in that show? Kevin Spacey. Oh yes, but it's also Robin camera. Wright. My mom hated that show because um, he broke the fourth wall and it freaked her out. Oh. Fair. But Robin Wright also, who is Princess Buttercup. Oh, yes. And is so good. Yes. I would watch episodes of that with my parents when I was home because... uh, Hi, PK Phil. They'll just put on whatever they're watching. (laughs) Then you've got to have to. Are we in Alfheim yet? I don't get that reference, PK. Do you get that reference? Alfheim? A-L-F-I or F-H-E-I-M? Explain. I don't get it. Are we what now? What? What? There are certain animes that become too much for me mid-season. Adam would understand. So would Amanda. Yes. I don't get it. Never finished Handmaid's Tale. Couldn't do it. I also didn't finish Handmaid's Tale. Oh, it's a God of War reference. We didn't watch that stream. Right over our heads. Sorry. (laughs) Sorry. Same reason I I like Shogun. I can't watch it. Thanks, Jay, for letting us do this instead. Yeah. Oh, that's true. Whoops. We stole you. We're the gods of war. We're the gods of war. And we're banking. (laughs) Where would the soldiers come on? Sorry, Amanda, I forgot you were an anime fan, too. Yeah, yeah. I am a fan, but I also... I I have uh, less of a tolerance than Adam does, for sure, for certain things. Particularly, like sexualization of stuff and like the violence and the sexualization I get just very uncomfortable and very frustrated and then like (laughs) rage quit watch the thing (laughs) but there's some excellent anime out there that I can uh, happily endorse alright I don't know if there's a better way to do this rolling but I'm just kind of like arranging it that looks right it's going fine (laughs) yeah Great. Those are big. I mean, yes, but also, I think that's correct. Because if you think so about too. a sausage roll like that, yeah, you right. think that's right. I think so too. Also, this is about fifty centimeters. I feel like maybe I could go a little longer with it, but I think that's fine. For me, certain kinds of killing innocent people. Mm. Oh yeah, that's Game of Thrones. I read. And couldn't watch because it was too much of that, of killing and, you know, also the sexual stuff. But, like, the the violence, I just couldn't stomach watching it. 
my imagination was bad enough when I read it. I read the wed red wedding chapter and literally threw the book across the room. I was Absolutely. so mad. <laughs> Is there such a thing as overhandling the sausage when you're forming it? I don't know, five fingers. Crap. I didn't. That didn't occur to me. Um. Okay, let's think about it. Sure there's flour. Yeah. The only thing that could build up gluten, but there's not much flour. No, it's just to bind. And it could warm it slightly, right? My hands could warm it, but we could chill it. But I also think it's fine. No? That is a really good question, and please somebody answer him in the comments, because I'm not sure. Okay. Shall we return to the Did that chill I'm smelling a little burning. Are you smelling burning? Maybe yeah. it's the bottom of the pan. Okay. It's also very messy over here, so it's going to be something, <laughs> something under there. there. Okay. Also, there's definitely something on the bottom of the oven that's been like smelling like burning. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, yeah, it keeps on something. Yeah, maybe it's something. Well, what about this middle bit? Oh yeah, that just happens on this pan. Yeah. Well, you said that might be a but I think that's what the smell is. Yeah. But I'm keeping it in the way that we can go like this. Okay. That's okay. I just wanted to make sure that the onions themselves yeah. weren't burning. Ovens are just big cast iron skillets because you never have to clean them. Oh, good point. The meat will build up protein formation and become tighter meat when cooked. Ah, crap. Okay. Well, hopefully what? I didn't do too much handling. I don't know how I would have done it differently. So, you know, I'll leave them alone for now, but thank you. Good tip. I have only, I tend to only watch anime that has comedy in it, like The Devil's a Part-Timer. Oh yeah, that one is so fun. The devil accepts a job at McDonald's and it's hilarious. Oh, oh. He tries to climb the corporate ladder instead of, you know, mastering the underworld and it's fantastic. Is this caramelized? Oh, not enough. Well, I've never done this before, Me? so... Jay, will you look at a caramelized onion? We're trying to decide if our onions are caramelized. What are we thinking? That's hot. Mm. Oh, very much so, yeah. Great, we did it. Anything? I think so, yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. great. Aha! Uh -huh. Yeah. Good team. Good team venture. We did it! You need to worry about a kneading amount of handling. Okay, I did not knead it, I just give it a squeeze. Well, and I guess I, I mixed it together with my hands, but that yeah, wasn't but you like, weren't like... I wasn't, no, I didn't knead it. I, I think it's fine, I think we're fine. Is it sweet and soft? Yes, it is, mashed tomato. Both things. So we're done, we did okay, it. We did Onions it. caramelized. Okay, we need those to cool, so let's put I'm them in a different, oh, yeah. like, pan or something. Um, for like we on a plate. It smells awesome. Yeah, thank you. All right, we did it. Go team. All right, so then I'm going to need your face. So now... One time for a whole day, my face didn't... My phone didn't recognize me. Really? Yeah, it really looks <laughs> <Maybe> strange. <laughs> okay. Divide chilled pastry into two. Roll each, flour, roll each on a floured surface. 50 by 20, long strip. Place sausages, sausage log in the middle of the pastry and evenly cover with onions. Fold pastry over sausage mix and roll once to fully encase. Cut away excess pastry, leaving yourself a couple of centimeters spare. Tack this down to your surface and tightly roll your sausage roll mix. Let's That's watch a little the video. confusing. <laughs> okay. And then roll a final time to remove the seam of the pastry. Yeah, I'm gonna need more than that. But we also probably are gonna want to. Oh no, we need to chill those. Okay, so I'm gonna get the pastry down. Okay. Can I clear a surface somehow? Yeah. I don't know how, but yes. Well, all right, I'm going to put this back in and I'm going to... Let's figure it. this out first. <laughs> Gimme. <laughs> 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 Got it. Oh, hey, Gary. Trent Prim, The Independent. Trent Prim, The Independent. I freaking love that show. It's so freaking great. Which one of you is Rachel Ray? I don't know. I don't watch enough Rachel Ray. I'm assuming it's probably Kimberly. Yeah, she's all put together. 
Bitch is not put together. She's not? That's kind of her vibe. Oh, then never mind. Maybe it's me. Or maybe it's Maybelline. Okay. Let's move the meat <laughs> over here. Oh my god. Uh, so funny. And then I'm just going to bring out another mat. Okay. Maybe. Perfect. Yeah. Mats are great. Just for measurement's sake. Or sure. Just... Makes sense. All right. And then we can flower that so that we know how long it should be. You know? Actually, serious question for Amanda. What is bonus action? And do you know when bonus action season two might be upon us? Uh, sooner than you think. Bonus action is the live action role-playing D&D pod podcast. Not podcast. Uh, Tell YouTube, YouTube show. YouTube show. Volume two is... YouTube uh, program. You know, pending. And uh, actually, uh, stay tuned for a schedule change from us. For a minute, while oh yeah, while that that happens, um, it's about yeah. Um, what are you guys talking about? It's vanilla with nuts. It's criminal, butter pecan. What are I we talking butter about? Pecan. That sounds great. We can't scroll back. So tell us oh what's my going gosh, on. guys, this sounds really fun. I'll have to scroll back later. The answer to what is bonus action? Thank you, Gary. What a good way to roll to flower the ruling. Oh thing. yeah, there you go. I like Hero Academia, but the lead is always crying. He does it so much, it's almost a parody. I know, but his life's so hard. There's so much going on. Sometimes you gotta cry. Sometimes you know you what you're cry. talking about. It's a great show. Oh, you know you wouldn't like it. It's animated, but it's really good. <laughs> Although I should probably try Has Been Hotel, because it's a musical. I have also not watched Has Been Hotel. So, maybe we should react to it's it. It's a and musical. And compete with the boys. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Steal you. I used to work in the same building as Rachel Ray, and the entrance would always be in the elevator crying because she was very mean. Okay, so nine really mean, but I didn't want to say Rachel mean. Rachel mean. Rachel, Rachel mean. Rachel mean. All right, so we're going to need to cut this in two. Okay. I'm just going to, like, I'm going to pinch off a bit. You know oh, what I mean? was going to step. You're just going to rid it? Okay. Did you know there's a game show in Germany where people just try and perfectly cut things in half? Yes, I saw this! <laughs> I love it. So we need to... I'm just kind of inclined to, like, refrigerate the rest. You know yeah. what I mean? While we're doing one. Here you go. Thank you. Please react Into to a husband strip. hotel. It's great. <laughs> noted. Noted, noted. I don't know that we actually can add a, a reaction to our schedule at the moment. <laughs> I don't We're know. struggling to find time for the, for everything, but duly noted. Has been until it's great, and I don't normally like musicals. Oh. I don't know. How do you not normally like a musical? Well, have you no joy? Have you no joy? <laughs> While you do your favorite thing, I'm going to eat pizza. Okay. <laughs> what do we think 20 centimeters looks like? And should we watch a video I of mean, him doing this? If it has to be like, if like this whole way is 50, about yeah. a little bit less than half. And also it needs to wrap around the sausage. Yeah. So however big our sausage rolls are. <laughs> That's what we want to do. You say sausage so much, and it's making me <laughs> giggle. And I'm not usually one to giggle at things like that. I know you're not. <laughs> I don't know if you're right, Brian. You're the one. Friday night! night. <laughs> <laughs> the dough looks good. It does. I see little pieces of the butter. Yeah. So it didn't uh, all become incorporated. Huzzah! <laughs> Match me this as I was waiting for the giggling. I've been trying to be good. <laughs> mm, fun thing. So my phone is blowing up. What did it? What? Our giggles? I couldn't hear him at all. The fan is on in here, so I can't hear you, Jibber. my phone is blowing up because my friend sent me a puzzle on my way here that was 
given to a kindergarten class as a fun weekend activity. And it was a puzzle that was like, okay, so you have four people and they go fishing and they each catch a fish and all the fishes are different sizes. And then they weigh the fish in pairs. So like, you know, this guy's fish plus this girl's fish is 12 pounds. And this one plus this one is 14 pounds and blah, blah, blah. And you have to figure out. And like the lightest fitch is five pounds. And then it said at the bottom, hint, there are two possible solutions. And I'm a math tutor and I only found one possible solution. Oh. So I sent it to my tutor chat and said, am I missing something? Fun fact, this was given to kindergartners. What do we think the answer is? So my, I'm very curious. My tutor chat is blowing up. I'm <laughs> assuming that people have uh, either discovered a trick or they're like, this is just trolling the parents. <laughs> Okay. I just want to watch him roll it. All right. That's good. We're grading. We're adding apples. Oh, let me turn the music off, actually. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to get canceled. <laughs> oh, see, he rolled it. Yeah. He probably he did a little more flour than I did. Mm, that's very thin. Yes. Okay. Oh, okay. Log in the middle. Onion on top. Oh. 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 <laughs> wow. All right, we just watched Maddie do the rolling, so we're we're gonna nail okay. it. Okay. <laughs> we can do it. Hmm. We got this. It's gonna go great. Okay. I can only imagine how spicy worksheet discussions get. <laughs> My sister-in-law's a fourth grade teacher, and she has opinions. Yeah, man. Okay. Right. Shall, Shall we? we? Let's do it. Okay. Let me let me do it. I think you can pick. Oh. oh. Wait, that's bound together much more than I thought it was. Okay, great. Okay, great. Oh, this is so kind of hot. <laughs> he did it with his hands. <laughs> he grabs. <laughs> Worms. <laughs> <laughs> You know what? Fear and therapy? Like, is it bad? Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm worried it's too hot, though. Oh. Um, for the for the pastry. Let's is there the no fridge. turning back, though? Because the pastry is out. You're right. Okay. I think we just got to just do it fast and then get it back in the fridge. Yeah. And then we'll put this in the fridge, too, maybe. Okay. Plenty, maybe. Are we? Are there more caramelized onions that go somewhere else? Nope. We made way too many. Uh, yeah. But then we didn't even do all the onions. I know. I think English onions are just much smaller. Okay. Well. Hot. Hot on okay. my fingers. Okay. Muppet Treasure Island is one of my favorite movies of all time. It is excellent. I don't know why we're talking about it, but yes. No, but okay. Okay, roll once. And then we smoosh it. Okay, so we're like smooshing the edges <laughs> down so that it's ready to, I think, bind. I think that just makes it ready to bind. Because then we finish rolling, right? Mm-hmm. To finish the turn, right? Finish the turn. Okay. That is now bound. Good. I think we, do we slice it before we refrigerate it? I think we should refrigerate it first. I think we should refrigerate it. I think it needs to be. You want to grab a pan to put it on? I will really roll it right onto this pan. Yeah, perfect. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Freezer. Great. Razor, stay out! Alright, go! So, here. Do you want to put like just some of these in the. Well, do what you need to do first.
I want Tim Curry to be my dad. Which Tim Curry do you want to be your dad? Because I would like Nigel Thornberry, but I don't know what everyone else thinks. I mean... Say no to Muppet or Clue. Yeah. <laughs> or uh, Rocky Horror. <laughs> that could be fun. Alright, I moved everything in your freezer, sorry. I appreciate it. I don't know. It all just got there yesterday, so it's, it wasn't used to where it was. It's just a sausage roll. Oh, thank you. Boom, shakalaka. <laughs> yeah, man. Great movie. <laughs> I don't want Frankenfurter to be my dad. Yeah, it would be entertaining. Same. It's just a sweet transvestite. <laughs> Transylvania. Are you interested in the Who is Tommy at all? Interested in what capacity? The new revival. Oh, sure. Oh, no, not like I don't really know Tommy that well. I don't either. That's so like there's not. I worked not, on like a anthology show a while ago oh. that they did, um, just like pinball wizard mm. as a dance piece because it is a dance piece. Um, but other than that, I don't really know the rest of the show. Yeah, I don't know it well. But I just saw the guy who is Tommy in the national tour of company and he was incredible right. and so i'm just like do i want to see this show i think it could be fun yeah you want to go he is oh yeah we saw that together <laughs> okay all right one shall we go for it three sausage <laughs> flat in the middle <laughs> okay i'll do the Onions. If you yeah. Get them out of the freezer for me. Oh yeah. I As we've discussed, meat hands. Meat hands. Okay. I mean, that didn't really do anything putting in the freezer, but you know, it's the thought that counts. We'll just get everything back in the freezer. I say we just try to put this on that same sheet. Yes. Oh, see, that's a lot of. Yeah, it actually. Okay, it actually wasn't that funny. Not. Oh. Home Alone 2 for the accent. I'm not shouting. All right, I am. I'm shouting. So excellent. <laughs> Tim Curry getting stared on the porch in Clue is the funniest thing. <laughs> God, I recently watched Clue again and uh, probably seen it 20 times at this point. For me, it holds up. Freaking love that shit. I know we talked about this. You're not I the, know. the biggest. I don't know, man, but you know what? Just couldn't get into it. I, I think it's just a very particular. I think you have to flavor like flavor of comedy, and you have to be like aware. Like it's a, a movie that like only betters itself from people who enjoy referencing it. Yes, like a Rocky Horror situation. Yes, yes. Like absolutely, it's enjoyable for people who are like, wait till she says flames on the sides of a face. You know, <laughs> right. See if I can make a little room here. She's struggling. <laughs> She's a bit of a yeah. She's a hefty little worm. <laughs> okay. Great. Great. Freezer. Go, go, what an go. interesting dish. <laughs> okay. Well. Okay. I think it has to chill for an hour because we have to clean. We have to clean. <laughs> Good lord. Okay. I'm actually kind of relieved that we have some time to clean. Me this too. It's stressing me out. Okay. All right. That's Any chance? Just... Yeah, okay. <laughs> actually, I think we're at the bottom. It does need to be. We're going to what? I need to unload some of the dishes in here. Okay. I will just start organizing up here then. <laughs> Jay said he doesn't like Clue. You're right, Dave. I know. Some people don't, and that's okay. Doesn't like what? Oh, Clue. Yeah. Here's the thing. I don't, you know... Need to yuck anybody's yum. Toxic, oh hum, toxic what? love from Fern Gully. Oh. Um, I like toxic love. Oh my gosh. From, oh wait, no, this is new. Okay. Um, Good to go. Anthony Stewart had uh, Frankenfurter 
is amazing. Yes. Um, the musical The Toxic Avenger Oh yes um, Has a song called Hot Toxic Love That I like a lot And my mom liked it a lot to the yeah. There was something where she wanted Jay and I to sing together And she was like What about that cute song from Toxic <laughs> Avenger <laughs> Hot Toxic Love Perfect Sure Your anthem right And it never actually happened I don't remember what it was for Yeah, our anthem for sure. Yeah, for sure, for sure, for sure, for sure. Um, yeah, Anthony Stewart had as Frankenfurter is freaking phenomenal. He is such an incredible performer. Dave said our bake is the sandworms from Dune. A <laughs> little bit, a little bit. Can't say I've seen them, but sure. No, he's right. But I can imagine a sandworm. <laughs> That's right. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Just a little casual Hercules. Why not? Why not? Sorry, they just covered in butter and it was grossing me out. Are they doing a Toxic Avenger huh? revival? Oh, really? I've never heard fun. about that. The musical's so good. Did you like see it? This? What? You should absolutely I go should in for go it. in for that. It's very up your alley. Have you seen it? Uh, no, never. I like I know about it, but I've never actually watched um, it. There's on Broadway HD, the British cast is mm -hmm. available. Okay. It's not nearly as good because their American accents are bad. Fair enough. <laughs> you can get past that. Yeah. Oh, wow. What a nice surprise after getting home after work. Oh, my gosh. Almost Happy surprise. Oh, wow. Where are you? Hello, oh, UK. UK. Happy Friday night. I hope you had a lovely day. We are making sausage rolls. They are currently chilling in the freezer. We are hoping that the hot, hot caramelized onions did not melt the pastry. Um, but we are doing a little cleaning because uh, this was a, a chaotic lot. bake. <laughs> uh, but yeah, once, how long does it take to bake? Like 30 minutes? 30 minutes? Yeah, we're going to be up, guys. We're in this for the long haul. Thank you for sticking with us. Yeah. What time is it? Almost nine? Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> I said goodbye to Adam and I was like, it's it's gonna be late. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. But you know what? No regrets. I think these are gonna be delicious. Oh, yeah, and there I'm is excited. like a true like eating sausage rolls that you've just made that took way too long to make, like late night on a Friday night is a real vibe. Sounds great. Yeah. Well Rad, I'm just gonna put the bottles in the dishwasher. <laughs> great. Great, great, great. Although, I only have one right here. I'm gonna go bottle hunting. <laughs> so I end my evenings with RIPA4. All right. The other ones. I'm trying to just like game one out. One might be in this room. <laughs> so, how's everybody doing? Did you guys have good weeks? Do you have plans for the weekend? What are your Easter traditions or Passover traditions? Passover is not on April. I always associate them. They're not linked. No. Oh. Well, um, Holy Holy Thursday was a Seder. Yeah. Like the uh, the Last Supper was Passover. Okay. All right. But they're not always at the same time. Thank you. I oh. did not realize that. Well, there you have it. Oh, it's not did a remake of the music. Did you know it's full moon? Oh, it's a remake of the movie. Oh, well, it should be yeah. the musical. It should be a fresh new take, like Mean Girls was. And yeah. It was secretly oh, no. musical the whole time. <laughs> KBF After Dark. Yes. <laughs> Have we seen Reptile? No. Repti? Mm, no. Reptile? I don't know what that is. Yeah. Question mark? No. Nope. Peter Dinklage says Toxic. Oh. Repo the Genetic. Oh. oh yes, I yes, 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 yes. Repo the Genetic Opera. A thousand percent. It's weird. It's real weird, but it's fun. I'm actually not going to put these in the dishwasher. Because there's heat. The space for the bottles. Great. I will wash them then. Hmm. 
Um, do you know what that reminds me of just a little bit is Evil Dead the musical. Oh yes, also that used a to very be in my fun book. one. Yeah, the uh, which one? The uh, all the men in my life keep getting yes. killed by canary and demons. Mine too. That was the first song I ever was. sang at uh, on the spot. Oh, perfect. And it was the first time that the pianist had ever sung with one of the performers, and he was like, "This is life changing. This was so fun." <laughs> oh, speaking of, wait. When was I last here? Did, it, did we do a stream last week? We did. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, we yes. did because I it just the the the, the uh, improvised musical that I saw. Oh yes. Yes. So we, talked just, we did talk about it on stream, so I won't repeat that story. But uh, now I can't remember the name of the group. Oh no, Shits Probe. Shits Probe. If you are in the city and yeah. you want to see amazing musical improv, Shits Probe is great. Also on the spot. They've been on my podcast. That's right. Are they nice? Yes. Nice. Oh, yes. Yeah. If I was like, no, they talk so much shit, go look at people watching the podcast. You can't watch it. Listen to them. Where do you want these to live? Where are they, while they dry. You want to, like, drape them over something? Draping? Okay. Here. Oh. Perfect. There. Perfect. I don't live near family, so no real Easter traditions for me anymore. Mostly played by ear. Honestly, same. My family, so my, I feel like I've definitely talked about this before. My family makes lamb kidney right. stew. I should have made that. <laughs> nope. Uh, it's, well, no, it's not terrible. The best part is the biscuits that go on the side. Um, my dad was getting the kidneys today. He's making it for the family. Um, the best part, though, I don't know if I've ever told you this part. One year, my dad, in making this stew, confused the flour with powdered sugar. Yes. And he made a real sweet mess. <laughs> yum, yum. But yeah, food-wise, I just get excited about chocolate bunnies. I might buy myself one. Just for, just for fun. And the Easter egg hunts are fun. I imagine, like, are you guys ever going to do stuff like that? Like, hmm. are you guys ever going to do stuff with, with James, like, Easter egg, Easter bunny hunts or anything like that? Just for We're doing an Easter egg hunt in my aunt's house. Yeah. Oh, so, yes. that's great. And then he'll probably do an Easter basket because that's a fun thing to do, right? Yeah, right, sure. Chamber? Do you want to do Easter baskets? My parents got him an Easter basket because we'll cute. be at their house. But cute, cute. Oh, and I did order him something to put in his Easter basket. Oh, yeah? But also to help him talk. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, babies. Yeah, apparently uh, Jess and Ethan, my sister and nephew, are going over to my dad's tomorrow to dye Easter eggs. And then oh, I love like a dying little chaos monster, but I'm just like, don't let him near the die. Oh god. <laughs> no, it's gonna go all over him. It's gonna go all over. And the fragile, fragile eggs. <laughs> Buying chocolate bunnies on the day after is a must-do activity. Yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Hiding baskets in the house and garage is fun. Yeah. See, I love it. I love a hunt. My favorite family tradition, which is unfortunately no more, was Labor Day. We'd host a massive party and roast a whole pig all day long. What? Wow. Cool. For some reason, I can't see the rest of your message. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> but that's But cool. that amount of it sounds great. Oh, it's it, because it's held. Oh. It's an auto. Oh. I, I have a feeling that's probably... Jay, are you modding? Can you allow whatever is happening? Aha. There we go. Bam. Pain in the butt. Was gonna get you pain modded. Pain in the butt. <laughs> <laughs> it was a pain in the butt. I can't hear you at all, Jaber, but you can come out. Kimberly, was the curly hair salon you mentioned before called Divashon? It was. Oh. Yeah, what can't hear a word you're saying. No, the fans the on. Fan. Oh, the fans on. Yeah. yeah. Um, we're not doing Easter basket this year because your parents are already gonna have them when we get there. Yeah, makes sense. Yeah. But like in, but, but just like generally, as, you as were just yeah, yeah, absolutely. It's just gonna be candy and little knickknacks. Yeah. yeah, I got him. You know that little cactus that sings? So you, have uh -huh. you seen that? Yes. Yes. I bought that for him. <laughs> that would be fun. Yeah. So Maybe that'll get him talking. Too. That's why I got it. <laughs> Do we need to see those? Probably not. I can't really hear it. In the, I can't hear it in the microphone. I, I mean, just, we had it for the. I have set baby. off the smoke detector every single morning all week long. So yeah, I'm just really a little. Don't. No. I'm a little preemptive about the fan. I think that's reasonable. Um, I support you. 
Nat says they got closed down. It wasn't very good. Dave Sean. It was Dave Sean. They got closed down. Mm-hmm. They also were trying, they were oh. trying to sell you all of their products. Yeah. And like, so, and then they came out with, um, a hair, a diffuser attachment for your hair dryer that looks like a hand. Oh. Because it was all about like the scrunch technique. The scrunch. And then they like put you in like clips and then they sit you under a dryer because you're not supposed to. It was a whole thing. Um, but it just felt like a scam. But yeah. also, it was the strangest experience of my life because the, um, what's it called? The, where they wash your hair, you'd lay down. Oh. It was not a chair. It was oh. like a bed. Interesting. I mean, and it was nice. Now. And like, yeah. an exclusive kind of spa <laughs> experience. But it was just this lady, just like, you know, like, girl Boston. Like, it felt like an MLM. Yeah. <laughs> like, Fair enough. It wasn't, obviously, but, like, could have been. <laughs> oh, it's so much cleaner. I feel so much better. <sighs> oh, my God. Remember that hair scruncher thing from the 90s they had infomercials for? No, I do no. not. Get us a link. The hair scruncher hair thing? scruncher thing. I mean, I remember having a crimper from oh. the 90s. I have <laughs> such memories because my crimper took forever to heat up. Uh. Of my mom coming to wake me up for high school and me saying, could you plug in my crimper plug and I'll crimper. sleep for five more minutes. <laughs> and I would sleep for five more minutes while my crimper heated up. Because oh I was a nighttime shower and then I would do my hair in the morning. Uh-huh. And if it was the crimper... I would ask for five more minutes of sleep, but also could you plug it in for but me? Also, could you plug it in? That's so funny. And then I think I would always just get through like the top. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> Thank God we did not have smartphones oh, in no. middle school. Oh boy. Because I don't want those pictures. Yeah. I mean, I do. Like, how hilarious to look back at. I mean, they would be really But funny. also. But I don't want those pictures to be I out don't there. want like the random day I only crimped half my head to be like. Huh. Why? Just for funsies? I think I didn't have time to finish the rest of my mom was like, we gotta go. We gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Um, okay. So can we look at the recipe again? Yes. And just like see what our game plan is for this. So recipe. he did cut it before he put it in the fridge. Yeah. I think we could probably pull it out and, and cut it. And then, and then egg wash and score. He also did. Before refrigerating? Yes. Which I find odd. Oh, okay. Well, fine. But okay, Fine. Oh, and then it says remove from fridge, egg wash again, and sprinkle with sesame seeds, poppy seeds, black pepper, and salt. All right. Well, I think what we did was basically mitigating the not quite cooled caramelized onions. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Okay, fine. Yeah. All right. Wait, it's wet, though. Oh. (laughs) A little. Okay. I guess let's trim the... Yeah. Trim the edges. Edges. Looks delicious. (laughs) <laughs> raw meat alas my knee length hair it takes half an hour so I procrastinate sometimes for washing your hair Woo-hoo. oh hi Sashoni yes Friday uh, KBF because speaking of hair Kimberly is going to get her haircut tomorrow <laughs> that's why we're on the topic that's, oh, in fact the topic. Um, should we do something with those I don't know I don't know what <laughs> We could just bake them alongside and just sort of let them be chaos <laughs> sides. Right, I'll scoop them off. Okay, how big do we want Thoughts? them? <laughs> how big should these be? I feel like that, right? Like a he little. He made them big. Can you make them bigger? Let's see. Oh yeah, they're more like that. Like that, but his are. Skinnier. Yeah, so maybe skinnier. this. Yeah, that looks good. This? Okay. Good happy medium. <laughs> <laughs> the whole Friday thing is throwing me off. I'm not complaining. I just have to remind myself it's Friday. Same. Yeah. But also it's like a wild energy in here. <laughs> so I do feel the Friday. <laughs> what do you mean? I... Listen. Those look great. I'm going to show them to the audience. Look. Ooh. Yum, yum. They actually do look great. I think they did a good job. Yeah. With like filling them and everything. They look like they're going to be tasty. Squelch. <laughs> Squelchy. 
Do you score after you have washed something? No. Before. Okay. <clears throat> should I get an egg ready for washing? Or should we're we putting that so, back in the freezer? Yeah, but didn't it say egg wash before now? And then he does it again, so why do you need to do it twice? Good question. Thoughts? Welcome. This is Kimberly getting lazy at the end of her recipe. <laughs> and going, eh. Oh, Nat says the place you laid down to get your hair washed was under a mosquito net. What? It was? Weird? Actually, yeah, I think it was. Uh, it was a weird vibe. I'm glad someone else is there with me about this. Chick says, I may have seen everyone complaining about not being able to get haircuts this summer of 2020 and had the opposite reaction. I'm going for full Rapu Rapunzel genetics permitting. Same girl. <laughs> Here we are. <laughs> this is now, it is down to upper butt. I could actually, like, I could make it go down to under butt there if I try. It's, it's a lot. All right, so you're thinking no egg wash now or should I pull out a yeah, egg wash? Well. If he says so. He does say. We gotta listen to Maddie. It's a star. Star Baker! Um, Come out and play. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. So it's Friday night. You remember that NSYNC song? <laughs> that what joke was just for you, Jay Bird, and I'm so glad you laughed at it. Do you have the little brush? Oh, have? yes, in a drawer. A drawer? I certainly do not. Claire. Oh, Claire. I see it. There you go. What? Do I have something on it? Oh, look at that. What's that? I don't think it comes <laughs> all that clean from the last time I used it. What, what did you brush before? Butter. Ah. Um, when I made cheddar baby biscuits. <laughs> Probably. I really failed at uh, cracking the egg, but it's fine. It's all fine. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine, and it's fine. Oh, okay. I'm just gonna scoop and. Yeah, I'm just okay. gonna. Okay, great. I've done a couple of decent chops before and donated to lots of Oh, love. yeah, I did, I too. I could go that route. I haven't done that in a very long time. I donated to, like, whatever the Pantene version is. Oh, Because they accept that. dyed hair. Ah. Uh, if you've ever dyed your hair, yeah. lots of love won't take you. I don't think any of my hair counts as dyed anymore. And there might be, like, a percentage. Like, I, but, but no, like, yours all, all my, mine's all natural yeah. now. Like... I think I cut off She's the last natural. of it. All natural. And it's this long, which feels weird because yeah. it was not that many years ago that I dyed it. It would have been 2019 last time I dyed it. Oh and God. this much hair has happened since then. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh, I eat Pantene as well. Hmm. They also, I think they'll accept dyed hair, but you need to give them more of it. So I think I, like, I had to give them 11 inches. Because mm. I think Locks of Love can take eight. I see. But that's why. Junior year of college, I arrived with a bob. <laughs> okay. I had to cut Nat's hair during the pandemic. She said I did a good job. It was nervous wrecking. Oh, oh my gosh. I've been cutting Adam's hair, and it's been nerve wracking. Because that cut... boy has to be on camera. Oh, yeah. So I can't fail. I cut Jason and once during the pandemic, and it tr was truly terrible. <laughs> and I cut my boyfriend's hair once in college, and it was equally as bad. I don't know why oh, I was more what? confident <laughs> later in life. I mean, okay, should we preheat the oven because it takes forever? Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Is it in Celsius? Probably. <laughs> yes. 200 C. All right. So For 25 to 30 minutes. That's high. Feels high, right? Two hundred Celsius to Fahrenheit. Five nines <laughs> times three ninety two. Okay, well that's high. It's, well, three ninety five, I'd say. Actually, go four hundred because, as we discovered, yeah, my cool. oven runs cold. Okay, should we soak this bad boy? Yes. Is it hot? Not hot enough. It's not hot. Cool. 
would be the word. Tis cool. It is hot. Real cool. I did that the time I buzzed it. Mm. Uh, nice. Probably going to donate when I chop off all the things. Here's a question. Hmm. When do you think it's appropriate to cut a baby's hair for the first time? Oh. James has a mullet. <laughs> I love it. I mean, I don't think it can hurt anything. I think it's more a question no. of like scissors near the baby. You got to make sure that he's yeah. not going to fling also, around. Also, like he's still a baby. You know, he has all of the hair. I don't know. I, I have no idea. I've never thought about it. And would I keep it? No. <laughs> what? Keep it. Like keep it to baby hair. hair. <laughs> There's little locks of his hair tied with a ribbon. Okay. Is that ask. weird? I don't know. <laughs> James Bond has his baby hair. Does he? Or does she? Yes. Okay. I saw it in an envelope. Well, then there you have it. My son was 18, 18 months, months old. Okay, so that's definitely... He's going to have, like, braids by the time he's 18 months old. So maybe... <laughs> a small lock in a scrapbook. Yes. Okay, fair enough. That's a thing. All right. I'm not going to carry it around. Listen, I, I just... I pictured you, like, cutting it and going... <laughs> I gotta, <laughs> I gotta keep it all. I gotta sweep it up. Like I just, my brain went went to weird places. I kept a small lock. Okay, there okay. you go. I have his umbilical cord. That's okay. Oh, Fair all enough. the things he came with. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh I yeah. Like, I have a really pretty baby book that my mom gave me that I oh. need to do because his mm. birthday is in two months. <laughs> oh my god. <gasps> wow. I know. That's wild. Have I shown you the invite? Do you know the theme? No. One singular sensation? Oh, perfect. I think you might have told me that, but I didn't remember it. <laughs> Ooh, that case was a little spicy. Are you familiar with the original yes. artwork of A Chorus That's Line? Perfect. It's so good. <laughs> oh, my God. Wow. Well done. That's, that's I Googled good. what kind of font the A Chorus Line poster was, and then Googled <laughs> equal font Canva. <laughs> And then I basically made the A Chorus Line poster, but for his birthday. Haven't sent them out. Don't know where his party's going to be, when it's going to be, or what we will do there. But you know the theme and you but have the invitation. I have the theme You're and the golden. invitation. That's all you need. Yeah. <laughs> Whenever it starts getting annoying for him. Oh, he's fine. Okay. Yeah, he's, he's fine. He'll start twirling it like his dad. Oh. He goes. <laughs> That's very cute. He also has a little Yoda jacket with Yoda ears. Oh, oh. And he, he grabs the ear and goes. <laughs> and pulls is at this it. an extension of me? What is this? Well, <laughs> it doesn't right. matter. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Who cares? The party may never happen at this rate. <laughs> no party. Because I don't know. Eh, you got time. You got months. Two. Two? That's months. That's still plural. Yeah. All right. How long do we think those need to chill? As long as it takes to preheat the oven. Perfect. Okay, great. Perfect. And you know what? If the butter leaks out a little bit, they're still going to tasty. We yeah. just got to make sure that the meat is cooked. That is the only thing that we need to be careful mm -hmm. of. At oh, point. we should probably make sure we need both racks because we'll need them on two. Good point. Things, so yeah. I'm gonna move them down. Unless, can we fit them all on one baking sheet? I don't know. I would worry about them poofing, but maybe they don't okay. poof. Just if we like rearrange them a little bit. I don't know. No. But they might poof. You're right. Okay. Push it back. Yep, my son would twiddle his hair, drinking his bottle while falling asleep. Oh. Yeah, my friend's daughter uh, has like a little singular curl at the back of the nape of her neck and she will just oh. hold that and tug on it when she gets tired it's very sweet that's cute um never mind i realized i already told this story on the stream we're well, doing so many of these now that i tell all my stories yeah <laughs> which is great but also <sighs> not stories my right my younger nephew used to pull his own hair and then get upset when his hair was pulled oh. yeah that's oh, okay. that feels poetic and i really more than I should. <clears throat> <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Um, James mm. pulls my hair all the time. Oh, yeah? And I go, ow, 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 ow. <laughs> so, more reasons I need a haircut. Yeah. <laughs> more reasons if you see me at home with him, I'm usually in a clip. Mm-hmm. It's 
smart. How did the baby do when you traveled on the plane, says Dave. Oh, he was good. Um, the only plane rides we've taken are like under three hours. And so he's up for a bit, eats, and then sleeps for a good amount of time. Our most recent one, he slept the least amount of time. And then he just really wanted to bang on a sandwich container. <laughs> <laughs> he just held my empty sandwich container, the lid in the container, and just... Bah, 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 bah. And it was the funniest thing he'd ever seen. Perfect. So, <laughs> whatever. Yeah. Everyone told us how good he was. So that made me feel that, good. That's got to feel good. They're like, I didn't even know there was a baby <laughs> behind me. And I was like, he cried for 30 minutes. Okay. <laughs> no. Just accept it. Accept the compliment. Yeah. <laughs> I've rediscovered the claw clip mostly because my hair can no longer easily go into a bun. We must adapt to long hair. Oh, yes. I need to get me a claw clip. That's what I need. I have little so many claw clips. It's technically you a claw, one? but it's too small. It's, it's too pretty, small. pretty, though. Look how pretty. It's very pretty. It's I gift. have an excess of claw clips. I will send right. you home with one. Please do. I break them all the time, so. Fair, me too. Yeah. <laughs> Remember banana clips? No. They were like, oh, yeah. And oh, like, man, I never had one. I think I saw, like, a, some some things are coming back from the early aughts. It's <laughs> so like banana clips. Sorry, and um, what's old is new again. The... <laughs> Oh, they asked the little, like... The scrunchy headband. The scrunchy headband, which I thought was, like, the height of cool. Oh, my God, me too. <laughs> I thought you looked so cool in those, but I also thought they were so uncomfortable. They were. Because they pulled your hair out. like, yeah. And they were just, your hair was, like, <laughs> all day long. And But I remember, like, committing to them. Yeah. And then just... When I, I They had to go. In fifth grade. I could grade. never wear headbands. I was too, like, confined. Yes. No, when I was in fifth grade, I had the, like, two popular girls in class did their hair this way. And I was like, oh, that looks really cool. And I tried it one day. And then they, like, got really mad at me. And they were like, your own hairstyle. And I was like, oof. But I still remember the hairstyle. Because it was the, that little, like, headband thing. And then it was a bun. And then you took the, like, ends of your hair from the bun. And you wrapped it around and made it go. F- <gasps> yes! <laughs> and I thought it looked so cool. I, this was a thing. This was a thing. But it wasn't allowed to be my thing. I was a little bit of a loser. What was your hairstyle day to day? Um, down. Oh. <laughs> I, I didn't have much of a, it was down or is it a ponytail? What I do now. I, I didn't really have, I would do, do French braids sometimes. Oh, sure. Um, and I would occasionally do just like little Heidi braids. Yeah. But that's it. I'm not, I was not very good. I was good. a big. Oh, the little thing. I did have one phase. I had a phase like in college where I did that. I think that's when it. Maybe that one. It feels like it was earlier. It was when my hair was curly, too. And that's I'd have so this. That's so cute. And then it, like, curly. Yes. I always love that. I still love that. I think that's cute. I think it was when everyone was growing out the bangs they got by accident. Oh, like, 100%. Like, and then they made the little boop. Yes. But then I also <laughs> used to do that and a low bun. Oh. Or to the side. Side bun? Okay. I think I, I feel like I've done that as an adult. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I think I have, too. Yeah. Because it's cute. Oh, well, and when I was really younger, when I was in, like, uh, 11, 11, 12, I would do two long strands of hair oh. right there. Yeah. Like, frame the face. Yeah. <laughs> like, um, my so-called life. Yes. <laughs> yes, exactly that. <laughs> oh, that's cute. Yeah. Yeah, and now these days, I just don't know what to do with my hair. In fact, it is currently in a clip because I had a just, like, meltdown when I left home. I was like, I can't have my hair just down because I'm going to get it in the food. But I don't want to put it in a darn ponytail or a bun again. So, hence the clip. A clip. A clip. And we still had air in the food, so, you know. Then we need to bring back, or I would also do, oh, this was college. So, this was high school. Swoosh. So the little little boosh, and then and then I would put this and like this, and so like it would come around. Oh, a bit. so it's kind of you know. I also did like um, <laughs> both sides. Oh yes, with little clips. Yes, with little butterfly clips. Little butterflies. I love the butterfly clips. <laughs> yeah, you can never the find Nat's hair clips when we need them. So good. Yeah. Yeah. Oh <laughs> yeah, in bed, absolutely. <laughs> I also get a claw clip because, like, it doesn't give a ponytail mark. So, like, you could take it off, oh, theoretically, yeah. shake out your hair, and it'd be fine. <laughs> of course, the strands in front, truly the height of fashion. Oh, yes. Truly the there height of a, fashion. There uh, was a wedding, my cousin's wedding. My sisters and I were the flower girls, and it was the three of us. And so we were, like, 
I think like six, nine, yeah. and twelve. Would you pull them out of a French braid? Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. Because I, I had yes. that. And it was like this, like the three of us, and all three of us had the same hairstyle and the same dress, and we're like the flower girls. And it was very. We had there's like a painting of it that my mom did. I think it's like precious for like sixth grade graduation. I did like. I had like a bun, yeah. like done up, updo bun with like with like the strings and like curled. <laughs> I love it. It's wow. Good. Yeah. Throwbacks. <laughs> but then I forgot how long your oven takes. It takes so long. It takes so long. Okay, good. Well, you know what? That needs to freeze. So <laughs> that needs to freeze. Do you want to eat a sweet treat? Yeah. There's this new bakery that I love. Oh my god. It's um, Olenstein. Okay. It's Danish. Loves, love Danish. And this is a cinnamon social. Oh my god. And I get a slice of it sometimes no, with my lunch. I understand lunch. it. It's like a braided. Is it like a, okay. It's like a braided um, oh. cinnamon bun. Great. How do we go about it? I think you just, just kind of tear and eat. Yeah, tear and tear. <sighs> oh. Mmm. 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 Mm. Let us not forget the tiny butterfly claw clips. Yes. Oh, yeah. Let us also not forget, forget the straight clip with the winged butterfly. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then one wing would break. So funny. Little trends. Mmm. Yum. What was that? Sexy macarons. <laughs> oh, yeah. But there were just so many. Yeah, that's a lot. That's a lot. I think it was a random Target or drugstore find. It's the most precious possession to me now. Oh no. <laughs> the Su- Scu- Scunchy brand has some good larger claws. Scunchy. Scunchy? Scunchy? Mm-hmm. I know what you mean. Oh, we hate it. Let's take a look. How cold are you? <laughs> so cold. <laughs> I mean, I feel like at this stage, we just need to, we just have to do, do it. it. Yeah. Should we get sesame seeds? Oh, yeah. Do I have them out or no? Uh, you were looking for them earlier. But I don't They're right see here. them. Oh, perfect. I'm going to do just a little extra wash of the egg. A wash of the egg. <laughs> I think you're right, by the way. We definitely need yeah. another uh, hand. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm so excited. These are going to be so good. <laughs> yes. All right, let's start arranging. Feels cold ish. Sure. Sure. Ooh. Slimy. <laughs> I know. Jay, where do you need to plug in the monitor? <laughs> well, we turned off the fan. That's true, we did. Okay. Oh, well, what a delight! Great! <laughs> yep, get in there. <laughs> okay, here we go, team. Sausage rolls. I'm gonna take a before shot. Something's on the bottom. I don't know from when. Hmm. Whatever, we'll smoke them basically. <laughs> okay, let's start with 30 minutes because I feel that they are bigger. Okay. Right? Oh, we'll mind it. We'll keep a nose okay, on you it. Sit down? Yeah, let's sit. Let's have a sit. <laughs> I appreciate you all hanging in. Yeah. Thanks for hanging out on a Friday night, guys. <sighs> So what is this called again? Cinnamon Social. Cinnamon Social. We're just going to be social and have ourselves a cinnamon social. A cinnamon. Mmm. Mmm. Suddenly sitting down, I'm like, I'm not exhausted. Mmm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, today I did that. I had a, a long sort of 
call that I had to be on from like 8 a.m. until 1.30. Ugh. And then I also did the AP Calc exam. And I just like, it used my brain in so many different ways, all of the, the call and the test. And I just was like, Phew. by the time I was done, it was like five o'clock. And I was like, no, I have to leave so soon. No, no. <laughs> oh, okay. Shaper, would you like any cinnamon social? Gettysburg, thank you. It is very nice on a Friday night. Actually, don't mind it. No, never. It's nice to be able to just hang and, you know, do sort of party style. Party. Woo -woo. <laughs> Which we may actually, depending on how things yeah, go, if we you may like be back this. evenings. Let us know. <laughs> this might be a trend. Potentially. As, a, as an alternative. Because mm -hmm. sometimes Saturdays are we'll for other fine. things. Mm. I did so well in high school calculus, probably the constant structure. And then in college, I could not focus any, on any math to save my life. Yeah, that makes sense. I never took a math class in college. Neither did I. You went to <laughs> musical theater. True. But, like, considering my career choice Fair. as a tutor who works on mostly math, like, it's a little weird. Uh, and it's something, like, I don't really admit to my students unless they, unless I know them really well. What did you go to school for? Mm. Singing Tiny and parents. dancing, I did like psych psych classes as mm -hmm. my science. That's the other thing is I didn't take any more bio. I didn't take any chem. No, I also did psychology. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. acting it hand in mm -hmm. hand. Oh, more Friday night steam please. Duly noted. Great. Okay. Yeah. Well, there. Um, I volunteered to bake for Easter. Oh yeah. And I think I've bit off more than I can chew. So oh, no. help me find something else. To <laughs> okay, okay. What are you thinking? Well, I don't know why I got it in my head that a Danish braid would be fun to make. Like a cheese oh, Danish. Okay. And then I was like, oh, Sally has a recipe. I'll just look. I'm sure it's just puff pastry. Yeah. It's yeasted. Yeah. I'm not going to do that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's yeast. It takes two days. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so, so only my that. mom knows that I was thinking about making that. So now I'm like right. a cookie. <laughs> Perfect. Or, okay, is it supposed to be sweet? Yes. It's the dessert. Mm -hmm. Okay. My grandma's making a cake. Okay. And my aunt is making cupcakes. Oh, okay. Something so else. Nothing cakey. So she said cookies. Cookies. Feel and then reasonable. I was, and then I in my head just thought it was brunch. It's a three. <laughs> sure, no. <laughs> but I was like, ah, oh, Danish for brunch. So now that it's not brunch, I'm like, oh. Maybe cookies. cookies. Cookies feel like the thing to go with cakes. Because, okay, so cake, I don't know if you feel this way. <coughs> a slice of cake yeah. feels like a big commitment. Yes. In a, a way that like, a cookie does not. I yes. can have like nine cookies and feel fine, mm -hmm. but I can't have nine slices of cake. So, like, no. cookies are a nice thing to have around. So, what kind of cookies would you do? I don't know. Like, maybe my swirlies in a you fun do color. Swirlies. You could do, like, yeah, you could do, like, like, like a fun purple and situation sure. of some kind. That could be fun. How <laughs> about a nice vodka? Nice vodka, perfect. <laughs> sure. <laughs> a sweet bread, yes. I mean, listen, I do love a sweet bread. You could do like a tear and share kind of situation that yeah. isn't like one of those. Now I am remembering that my aunt said maybe a kid friendly cookie. Oh, kid friendly. Okay. Well, so maybe sugar swirls. Cookie. Yeah, swirls yeah. is great. Okay. You could make it uh, egg shaped. <laughs> 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 true yeah yeah maybe or cut out sugar or cut out yeah i mean you could you could okay, decorate I'll before the icing again <laughs> no <laughs> <laughs> but maybe a swirl but maybe a swirl yeah yeah i think that's probably gonna or be just your sprinkles best just like rolled in sprinkles and sliced i mean yeah fine that sounds great that sounds good but yeah enough. we did it we did it Great, we solved it for you. Yeah. Uh, I have to figure out, actually, now that we mention it, I have to figure out what I'm baking for D&D &D tomorrow. Oh! What should I make? I can make anything. Okay, here's, let me tell you this sad moment I had today. Adam, are you uh -oh. watching? <laughs> this is about you. I, nobody would mean to Adam. It's, it's reasonable that he had this reaction, but it did bum me out. Oh, no. So, we have Thin Mints in our freezer from when Bob and Barbara visited. They brought Girl Scout cookies. Thin Mints are fantastic. And I was like, huh. I have leftover peppermint extract. Like, what if I made a thin mint? And so I like looked at some recipes and Sally has a recipe and I was like bounded into Adam and I was like, guess what I'm gonna make? And he was like, what? And I was like, thin mints. And he went, ooh, and had this like huge negative response. And I was like, what? And he's like, listen, 
I can tell how excited you are. Thin mints are already perfect. And they're like, is no way that you're going to make anything that's as good as a Thin Mint. I so love like, that he loves a Thin Mint. He loves a Thin Mint. Loves a freezer Thin Mint. But he was very much like, you're not going to do better than they did. <laughs> so <laughs> don't set yourself up for failure, basically. And I was like, ugh. He's like, you're too excited. You're going to you're gonna be disappointed. And I was like, you're probably right, but now I'm <laughs> bummed about it. <laughs> and like, I sh- I would if I were going to do it, I would have to have done it today because I won't have time tomorrow before I go. Oh, fair. It just takes some refrigerating yeah. or the recipe I salt it. And also... Because it's probably a rolled out, cut out. Yeah, and there's lots of like... And I also looked at Samo- Samoas and it was like... Caramel delights. There you go. <laughs> As they're called. <laughs> at my troop. Perfect. But they're delicious and I looked at like how to make them and it is doable. Oh, hi, Quentin. Hello. We're doing great. We are sitting and waiting for our sausage rolls to bake. We're crossing our fingers that it goes well. We did a lot of rushing with our freezing and refrigerating. Yeah. So it's as we like the chilling just makes it not gap, and so whatever it might. Gap. So we might, well, yeah. But it's gonna be delicious. We're very excited. Um, Let me turn the light on. Welcome. Because I like to look. I also like to look. Keeping Tom for my oven. <laughs> they look great. I can't really tell. Yeah, they look fun. Oh yes. Anyway, we're trying to decide what I should bake for D and D tomorrow, uh, Quentin. So, I, I think I'm going to not try to do the Thin Mints, and I'm not going to try to do the Samoas. I may in the future, because, you know, Adam can suck it. Yeah. But also... You should do a taste test of the two different bakeries. Oh, for the Girl for, Scout. Mm. Yeah. Two different Thin Mints. See which ones he likes. Good point. I'm sure he has an opinion. I'm sure he does. That's why <laughs> I think it would actually be very interesting. Yeah, it would. Um, but yeah, so I'm trying to figure out... I guess I could do like sugar cookies, or I could do a sweet bread. I could do I could do like a tear and tear sweet bread. That could be yeah. kind of fun. I'm thinking of like a, a chocolate social. one. You know what I mean? Like oh. something that's like. You love chocolate. I do love chocolate. <laughs> I always choose chocolate. Let's see. What do I have at home? I have. I have all forms of chocolate. I have. Some strawberries, but they're not very flavorful. Oh. I was really bummed about it. Like, it's reasonable for them not to be flavorful this time of year, but they That's looked like they were quite. this week that I'm just yeah. like, I want to get it, do it. I'm, I'm a little bit, like, wanting to eat a sausage. Like, I'm kind of just in the mood for that, so I'm going to hold off. Um, but, but yeah, so the strawberries, so I could turn that into, like, a coulis or a jam, adding sugar and sugar yeah. like, do the thing. Mm-hmm. Um, I've got some cream cheese, not a ton of it, so I couldn't do, like, a cheesecake, but I could add cream cheese to something. Mm-hmm. Like a frosting. Um, I have, you know, the other staples, like the sugars and the flour and the things. And just strawberry tiramisu. How did we make the... We had the ladyfingers. We bought those, right? We no, them. we made those. Oh, and the gluten-free. Yes. Mm-hmm. Oh, but we used Nilla wafer. I used Nilla wafers for Jay's birthday over the summer. Right. Okay. I have to look that recipe up again. Yeah. That was really yummy. Because that was just... Oh, I need oh, the marshmallow. I was trying not to go nice. to the store if I can help it. <laughs> so no. Hmm, there are cookie recipes that use cream cheese. Oh, that's a really good point, overworked. Rugula is a cream mm. cheese cookie. Ooh, peanut butter cookies. Ooh, I don't Ooh. have enough peanut butter. Adam needs peanut butter every day. <laughs> and I don't know if you're like, I'm going to take two cups of uh, peanut butter out. Uh, yeah, but I haven't made peanut butter cookies in a while. Overworked, which recipes are you thinking of? Like a frosting with cream cheese or like a inside mm-hmm. the cookie? Um, Rugula is... Oh, yeah. A cream cheese dough. <laughs> you only bought a moderate amount of cream cheese? Sounds fake. <laughs> <laughs> yes, never again from Costco. The massive... The log. It's bigger than our log, the sausage roll. So much cream cheese. <laughs> When my we got my father in law a Levain cookie and now he's constantly asking us when we're gonna go to the bakery. Amazing. Can you do sugar cookies shaped like a dragon with green sugar sparkles? Yes. I don't have a dragon <laughs> cutter. I would have to shape them with a knife. Do not make your own. <laughs> Twitch recap 2023. What AP Christ? How did the Maddie cook go? AP, we're not sure yet. It's in the oven. We'll find out. Ginger cookies are always a welcome switch up on the table. I have made your your molasses cookies. They're out of molasses, though. Shoot. Yeah. No one ever runs out of molasses. I know. I was really surprised (laughs) when I finally did. Wow. I know. 
<sighs> I've used that the last I know. <laughs> I had it for a long time. Yeah. Hmm. 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 But I mean, sugar cookies are always a fun go-to. But then I spend way too much time on it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Maybe maybe a little sweet bread tear and share or something in that vein. Critical role ginger cookies. That's a thing? They make ginger cookies? Ooh. Are they my recipe? <laughs> Kimberly's recipe is the best ginger cookie I've ever had ever. I think it's my Aunt Lee's recipe who's hosting it's Easter on Sunday. Incredible. She makes them really small. Oh. And that, I like that a lot too. Yeah. Because it's like a two bite cookie. Mm-hmm. They are. I need to make those again. Yeah. Will you put that recipe in the Discord? I'm curious about it. We'll yeah. see how it, how it compares in their cookbook. Okay. Maple syrup and turmeric. Interesting. I do have maple syrup. Maple syrup. Maple syrup. Maple syrup. <laughs> Friday, Friday. And we sat down. And what we were we sat thinking? Down. I don't know. Mistakes. 20 minutes. <laughs> I know. How are we doing? Good. Are I, there's a little leaking. Okay. Well, that's but not a surprise. It could also be meat juice. Yum. Ooh, yeah. red velvet cookies. That's a fun idea. My only nerve with the leaking is that it's going to leak onto the oven. Oh. Because this one, oh, the other one is not, not on a lip. Should we put it? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> You're hiding. Um, have the two of you decided on your next reaction show. There's a new season of Taskmaster starting soon. Oh, yeah. You guys have seen that a few times. That is such a good show, and I would be so down. I don't know how best to do this, really. But Wait, like, you hold that and I'll grab and... Ha-ha! Ladies! <laughs> At it again! Ha-ha! Okay, good. We're just switching over the uh, pan because the other one we had didn't have the edges and the juices were starting to leak a little bit. We didn't want that to go into the bottom of the oven. Okay. Uh, first episode went up on their YouTube channel today. Okay. Oh. Good to know. Of what? Taskmaster? Taskmaster. I mean, ugh, it's a very... Do you guys care that it's not cooking? What? Taskmaster. Oh, yeah. Do you guys care if we react to things that are not cooking things? Because then we'll do the pottery show. That's true. We should do the pottery <laughs> show. But we should also do Taskmaster. I think it would be actually really fun. Oh. Because, so here's the, the premise of it is they're doing just weird tasks. Oh, yeah. But you, I think especially, would love to be like, oh, this is how I would do this. Or this, you know, like judging basically. The... I have seen it on TikTok. Yeah. And I would like to be on this show. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I think it's one of those that you would excel at. Thank you. <laughs> I think I would probably be the, like, make good TV, but just be absolutely chaotic and not actually get the things done because I would panic under the pressure. And you're not <laughs> as competitive as I am. That's not true. Oh, yeah? I'm so competitive, but I'm oh. competitive in the, like... Maybe in a different way than I'm you? just, I love, I'm in it for the love of the game, but I am competitive oh. in the, like, I will try my hardest always. <laughs> Like, it's less about you, my competitor, and it's more about, like, oh. my version of I'm going to do my absolute best. Like, even when I'm doing, like, when I, like, okay, so I have a friend who does, um, it's, like, team building for corporate events. Sure. And, like, she does, like, little Zoom things, and it's, like, escape rooms, basically. Yeah. And so she'll test out materials and ask me to, like, be a part of it. And it's just her friends and family as part of, and I am going my hardest to like solve all the puzzles in the fastest time and I always win. And like it's because oh, yeah. we is going that together. Hard. Yes. It was so much fun. Love it. So anyway, that's that's my version of like I'm competitive in me that I will always try my best and I love to win. Oh, I also love to win. <laughs> yeah, I believe it. But I also am not above a sneaky win. Fair. <laughs> Dave but says, it doesn't all matter. Our reactions. No to Dave. Oh yeah. <laughs> The stuff I did in New Zealand. That's the one I've seen, the New Zealand show. The New yeah, New Zealand is pretty awesome. Is that when I had to open a bunch of cans of beans? Oh, gee. Oh, yes. To find the one that was tomatoes. <laughs> uh, yeah. Both versions are pretty great. 
I'm I'm a sucker for the UK version, but that's because it was my. I've never watched a whole it. show, so I'm curious how they. They do a pretty good job. They do a pretty good job. It's very. I mean, it's a panel show. In a oh in a oh because they're all they like, like watching themselves watch it exactly. So a reaction would be like, what a layer. <laughs> <laughs> Multi layered. Yes. Count the beans on the UK was good. Yeah, there have been a few things that have been really magnificent and moments that have been really great. And I think the full show itself is, like, just a good time. It's one of those shows that I will put on when yeah. I just, like, need something entertaining uh, in the background. So. That's what I watch. Sad yeah. documentaries. <laughs> we are different people. <laughs> or the Gilded <laughs> Age. <laughs> Charles says, I ended up looking up Bob Mortimer. (laughs) Yeah. There are actually some really brilliant, um, uh, one of the contestants who, yeah, um, yeah, comedians and entertainers, actually Noel and, um, oh yes, I've seen those. Yeah. Have you seen those? Well, cause he was on it with, um, Matt. No. No. What's her name? Allison. Ugh. Sue. Help me. Other one. Uh, Mel. 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 Yeah. He was on it with Mel from, uh, and it was like when she had just left and he was about to start, and they were both uh, on yeah. the show together. Yeah, Noel Fielding. That's how. Yeah, uh, and he did great. He was very good. Was he, he was very talented. He's old Greg. He's what? Old Greg. Old Greg. Yes. No. <laughs> <laughs> I, heard, I heard Earl Grey. Nailed he it. Is also that. good. Yeah, we were thinking about nailed it, but we were like, I don't know if that's quite our vibe. Yeah. We, we don't like uh, when people are bad. And we mess up stuff all the time, like that's our, you know, and it makes us sad, like it makes us feel bad. Yeah, I would just be like, no, no, do something else. But also nailed it, I get really mad because people aren't doing a good job because they are not set up to do a good job. They're like, you have an hour to make a wedding cake. And I'm like, that's ridiculous. That's that's, you need yeah. two days. <laughs> like, of course it's bad. And so then I just see like the showmanship of it of I'm just yeah. like oh they gave every, like everyone is going they to fail they want them to fail that's because that's TV. what's funny so they yeah. don't give them enough time to actually do it so they have to kind of flail yeah <laughs> Gettysburg says this is the kitchen at best friend's version of crowd work <laughs> oh, <good. laughs> yeah. I would love to see or hear the outtakes of David's diss track I don't know what that I is. don't know what that means that's a taskmaster thing I'm assuming oh. but I'm not sure maybe it's a New Zealand one I haven't seen I still need to experiment with it a bit to find the spices right there. Delicious this is. You guys talking about a recipe? <gasps> oh, I think the, the ginger cookie recipe? Oh. Gotcha. Alton Brown's Cutthroat mm-hmm. Kitchen. I don't want to be cutthroat. That's why we like Bake Off. They're nice. That's true. Cutthroats. Cutthroats. No, <clears throat> stressful. <laughs> Yeah, I feel like it might actually make more sense for us to venture away from baking content. <laughs> like, Bake Off is our one, and then we do, like, Taskmaster, and we do the Pottery, the show. pottery show, or the glass blowing one. Have you seen that? Oh, yes. I love that. You're really blown away. <laughs> yes. It's incredible. Incredible work. <laughs> or, um, did you watch Making It? No. With Amy Poehler and, um. Oh, and Nick Offerman. It was crafts. Oh, Just crafting. Cute. And they were all so nice to each other. <laughs> Aw. It was That's so nice. sweet. Uh, yes, David Corius and Taskmaster in New Zealand. Team Task is to write a diss track. I see. Oh, interesting. Oh, I yeah, I haven't watched a lot of the New Zealand ones. I've seen more just clips. So I'd be, I'd be interested. What was the makeup show? Oh. oh. Um. Not. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. I know what you're about. talking about, too. But I don't remember what it's called. Yeah, I never watched it. Like, Makeup is cool. I love watching people yeah. that are amazing at makeup. Yeah, but for whatever reason, I never, I never did that one. I'm not smelling them yet. Really, not me either. which is a surprise. Glow up, glow up. Yes, glow up, glow up. And there was also maybe it was on Sci-Fi, like a special effects makeup oh, one. Yes, years ago. I don't remember what it was called, but yes, there was that. And it was a lot of, like, sculpting the mask. Like, mm-hmm. there was a lot of mask making. Or, like, making, like, uh, cuts yes. and stuff like that. It was very cool. That would probably fit in with the pottery and glass theme. You're right. That's yeah. idea. <laughs> Next time I measure with my heart, I'll try to get an approximation of measurements. 
for that recipe. I love that. 100 humans. It's very good and funny. Only lasts for one season. 100 humans. I'm not familiar. What's it about? Drag Race, obviously. Obviously. I've actually never seen much of Drag Race. I've seen a few Because it was on VH1. It. I didn't know where uh, to stream VH1. Yeah, fair enough. To find it. <laughs> I don't trust myself to measure my heart <laughs> when it comes to baking. I feel like specifically for like ginger cookies, like really spicy, like measuring oh, with your yeah. heart. You can is... go too far. <sighs> Tough. Yeah. When do we get to eat it? 15 minutes? Maybe. Maybe, yeah. Blink. We'll see. It's uh, eight minutes left on the timer at the moment. They are cooking. Yeah. They are leaking. I'm starting to smell them a little bit. They're leaking a bit. Yeah. Yeah. But also they might just be juicy. Yeah. Well, okay. So should we have, like, taken a paper towel to the meat? I don't think so. Maybe... Um, we should have, like, was it too fatty of a cut? Like, a too fat, I don't know. I don't know. What well, Hunter Humans is a survey show. Where they just ask Hunter Humans things. Huh. Like, uh, Family Feud? <laughs> oh, yeah, that's a thing. Oh, what about, is it cake? <laughs> is it um, cake, I find, like, sometime. impressive sometimes, but also, like, it, the bit gets old. The you bit know what gets I mean? old. Because the bit is just, is it cake? <laughs> and it is very impressive when they do it. Yeah. But I always am like, oh, that doesn't taste good, though. And that was so much work. And yeah. I'm like, that it doesn't but taste I'm great. sure it's terrible. Yeah. So are sausage rolls meant to be eaten with some condiment or just by itself? I have no idea. Good question, child. We've never had them before. Any British people here want to yes. tell Help us? us, please. Yeah. I would I would imagine you could dip them in things. Yeah. Right? Because it's what? It's pastry and sausage and onions. Like, that feels like a... Yeah. Dip it in ketchup or mustard or even, like, honey. Barbecue sauce. Barbecue I don't sauce. Know. Ooh, I don't know if I want that. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah. Hmm. Good question. <laughs> oh, you <Jimmy> people. <laughs> Maybe some oh, vinegar, like chips and vinegar. Oh. Well, oh. there is vinegar in the... I guess that was just the caramelized oh, yeah. onions. It wasn't much... Hmm. The chick says, I watched a couple of seasons of Sugar Rush on Netflix until I realized they always have the teams present in a specific order, eliminate the team in one particular slot. Ew, yeah, I hate that. Because then you know, like, if you're presenting in that slot, you get eliminated. What a bummer. I eat mine alone or with ketchup. Thank you, more. All right, good to know. Okay, 100 Humans is a social experiment show. It's very interesting on Netflix. Yes. Social, uh, interesting. I don't know. You don't want to see people being experimented on? Sometimes it makes me uncomfortable if they don't know. Yeah. Do they know they're in the experiment? Or is it like a hidden camera thing? Yeah. Like that show, um, What Would You Do? Yeah. Makes me so uncomfortable. Yeah, that's fair. Any hidden camera show. Yeah. I'm not a fan. I used to watch hidden camera shows. Like. I think I used to too. Like I loved Punked. Yeah, Punked. But that was a celebrity. Like that's they true. They might know that they're on, uncam- you know? Yeah. Yeah. And I do understand that everyone who was on one of those shows got the hidden camera thing and signed the release to allow themselves to be on TV. Yes. But then I just think, surely someone hasn't. <laughs> I mean, they about? can sue. Yeah. How are left guy, right guy, and baby James doing? I had to miss Adam's stream on Wednesday, but planning on watching it tonight. They're oh, good. They're good. Yeah. Baby's asleep. Jaybird, how is the baby? We can't hear anything again. <laughs> oh, yeah. He's asleep. He's asleep. Uh, Adam is at home, and I'm assuming probably playing games so that he can unwind a little bit. He's been working very hard this week. Aww. Yeah, lots of lots of late nights, and you know, like I'll I'll go to bed and fall asleep before he gets to bed, which isn't usually the way. I usually swap. Okay. I usually get in bed, and then he comes to bed a little later than I do, but. Lately, I've been fully asleep, and I don't remember him coming to bed. Overworked, thank you for the gifted sub. AP says they know they're in the show. They have shirts with numbers on them. Oh, right. well, then okay. That's better. Fine. That's better. Um, yeah, Adam's good. He's just busy. He's working hard. You know. Chick-fil-A sauce makes anything delicious. You are absolutely right, Dave. And oh, yes, yeah. we know they volunteer. Okay, good. Off topic, just curious. May I know what your favorite color is or color combinations? Ooh. I love a blue. 
I love a blue purple teal situation. Yeah. Um, and I am really into like sunsets, like the like as a just sort of a feel. Like yeah. rain, rainbow things make me really happy, but like a sunset specifically makes me really happy. Oh, yeah, very specific. I love um, bright colors. I love a hot pink. I love a neon yellow. Yeah. But my house, like we, Jay and I have teen colors. Oh. There's maroon and teal. Okay. <laughs> With accents of mustard. It's just, that's, look at our house. Fascinating. I know. I mean, you guys have a very distinct palette. We did. Yeah. And so then all of a sudden we were like, I think this, these are teen colors. Yeah. Okay. Maroon and teal. I mean, the color of your couch is one of my favorite colors. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I had a wall painted that color in my old apartment that oh. I loved. It's like a teal blue blue teal i would say more, yeah more than a green more than teal. a green teal yes. yeah <laughs> thank you for answering we'll keep it in mind <laughs> you got <Perhaps>. it <laughs> 100 people from diverse backgrounds participate in experiments exploring age gender happiness and other aspects of being human okay huh. that's interesting huh there I'll are a lot of blues amanda talking navy cerulean hairy pink oh boy okay so here's the thing i really love like a teal blue so, yes. like, blues that will show up in water and in, oh, like, sure. that kind that's of a... That's a good way to put it. Yeah. Um, I also really love a, like, blue that's almost purple. A little blurple. Blurple. Into that. Um, and then I I tend to like a richer blue. So, as opposed to, like, a softer baby blue, yes. I'm more into the other side of the spectrum. No? Did that do it? Did I help? It did. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. My mom's favorite color was purple. And so I think there was a little bit of that influence in there, but I wanted to be I'm just sure. different enough. So I used so to blurple. like mix blue and purple together and call it purple and said that was my favorite color. <laughs> but I think the truth is it's just blue. <laughs> For example, they have a team of older people versus younger people compete in how fast either group can assemble furniture oh. to see if age has an effect on the task. Science! Interesting! What were the results of that? I'm curious. I know. Yeah. I guess it depends on the task, though. You know what I mean? Like, assembling furniture. Like, if kids have just never done it before. Yeah. You know? Are there instructions? How how thorough are they? Is it Ikea? <laughs> um, I did not Allie! learn an announcement of a third, oh fourth my gosh, book. Oh, my gosh, But how exciting. Welcome. I need to finish the second book. How late is it for you? That would be pretty late. Thank you for joining us. We're just yeah. on our sausage rolls. One minute. We'll see how they are. We're we'll, probably going to need another view. Yeah. <laughs> AP says you'll have to react to find out. Okay, fine. <laughs> it's 3 a.m. Oh, my gosh, Ellie. What are you doing up? But also welcome. We are just hobnobbing here. Um, our sausage for our rolls. pastry to brown. We need... I yeah, a good five minutes yeah. at least. They're they smell good. Boys. They do smell good. But it's weird that like the, it's the pastry that seems to be taking a long time. Maybe we had it too cold. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> I signed up for a fabric website's newsletter because they had you boot their dog Snoot to opt in. Oh, <laughs> that's cute. It's called Onyx Storm and comes out in January of next year. Okay, what are we talking well, about? Well, I've got to finish Iron Flame. <laughs> oh, I see, I see. I still haven't read any of those. You would really enjoy them. I know that. Because no. you should be the main character. Oh. In like a cosplay or in a movie. Okay. Yeah. Duly noted. Or right, maybe she's supposed to be short. Do you is she? Or anyone. Is she supposed to be short or just kind of frail? Not that you are frail. <laughs> She's like... I don't think I can give, come across as frail. I'm a hearty gal. She's like secretly frail. Oh, okay. And then she, you know, goes to war camp. Sure. And becomes School. less frail? Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> she wears a lot of armor. I feel like the, uh, the beginning of uh, Captain America. Where he's yes, Roger and exactly. he's real shrimpy and they just like... A, do a body that's not my body. <laughs> <laughs> I have finished Suits. How was the finale? Fine. Okay. 
Oh, Ellie, yeah, I should be sleeping, but I was so tired. I was too tired and too hungry to go to bed. I'm still hungry. Eat, Eat something. Have a sausage roll. We'll send it to you. <laughs> It'll be there in a week after yeah. it clears customs. It'll taste terrible. Yeah, but you can have it. Uh, what even time? What time is it? Is it ten? Oh, yeah, almost. Guys, thanks for I know. I'm so us. sorry. <laughs> Thank you for doing this. Well, you know, hey, the recipe did take two and a half hours. This is not a surprise. No, it's not. We did try okay. to rush it as much as we could. <laughs> Have you seen Crime Scene Kitchen? No. No. What's that? <laughs> I'm learning about so many new things. Oh, there's a Suits spinoff, huh? Pearson. Um, and no, I didn't watch it. <laughs> I was like, I, this is enough. Well, I don't need to go to Chicago. Fair enough. Sausage rolls sound like a dream right now. Want it. Us too. We've never had them before. We're very excited to try them. <laughs> Two minutes. Didn't need to do. Two minutes. I'm excited. But also, they're, they're gonna have to cool a little bit. We can't just eat them I know. right away. <laughs> how are we gonna check if the meat is done? I have a thermometer. Okay, we yeah. should do that too. <laughs> See how that meat is, because we don't want to get sick. Oh, Crime good. Scene Kitchen, hosted by Joel McHale. Really? Oh, love it. Speaking him. of community, if you ever come to Sweden, you have to have a tunbrodrule. Oh no, I'm sorry. Tunbrodrule. Tun help. <laughs> Give me a minute. All right. Explain. What is it? Is it a sausage roll? I had a sausage roll at 11 p.m. my time in preparation for this stream. It's now 2 a.m. and I'm still hungry. Even though a sausage roll. <laughs> crime Scene Kitchen. Okay, so Crime Scene Kitchen, is it like a... They murder and then cook? Or is it like... Yeah, I'm curious. What is that show? What do they do? <laughs> you solve the murder. It could like, go either way, right? Like it could be crime scene kitchen. Oh, like it's messy. It just looks like a crime scene when you're done. It did look very messy earlier. It did. Yeah. That is a flatbread roller wrap with mashed potato, hot dogs, and shrimp salad. Whoa! I don't think I'll what try that. What a collection I'm so of things! Sorry. I will try. That's that. very strange. <laughs> Mashed potato and hot dogs and shrimp salad. What a very specific third ingredient. Yes. <laughs> hmm. Okay, contestants have to look for clues in a messy kitchen. I love that. Oh, that okay. sounds awesome. I love finding clues. I, we should react to that one. That sounds great. <laughs> um, Jay is so lucky every weekend to get to eat delicious food. Why, yes, he is. What a lucky guy. Oh, each episode... Oh. Oh, so you just copy and paste Wikipedia. <laughs> it begins at the scene of a crime. The kitchen that was used to make an amazing mouthwater and dessert has since disappeared. The chef teams of two are challenged to scour the kitchen for clues and ingredients to figure out what was baked. Next, each team must duplicate the recipe based on their guests for celebrity judges. Curtis Stone, love him. And artist Yolanda Gamp. Uh, so Violet is supposed to be 5'4 in the book, so I don't know how tall Amanda is, 5'9". Oh, uh, yeah, never mind. <laughs> but I agree with you, Kimberly, she'd be a good person to act or cosplay the yes. role. Thank you, I'll take it. Oh, I had a really exciting audition that I can't really talk about, but I was I was not going to book it because they wanted somebody who was 5'3". <gasps> and of course I cannot book it. I don't know why they called me in for it, but I was so excited for it. It was such a cool audition. And I was like, this is fruitless, but I'm going to try my best. Maybe they'll just be like, she can be 5'9". Oh, I cannot. I'm so tall. Uh, <laughs> oh, well. Yolanda. I don't know any of these things. Ellie says it's very Swedish. Hilarious. <laughs> Huh. To be fair, I eat my tun without the shrimp salad. Okay, good to know. I think I have seen something on TikTok of a Swedish person making something with hot dogs, and they were like, and then I just put the hot dogs on top, and it was like sliced kind of swirly hot dogs. Huh. And everyone was like, what? Okay, all right. There's murder house flippers where they redo a house that had a murder in it to sell it. Absolutely not. 
That's hilarious. Oh my god. You're selling to people like uh, April Ludgate. Speaking of Parks and Rec. <laughs> yeah, I guess some people would be into that, but what a what an idea for a show. Swirly hot dogs, like a spiral? Maybe, or just like they cut them and so they kind of like curled in the pan when they made them. Interesting. I like don't know. Little... It was a hot dog that like looked like it had been noodled. <laughs> Good old hot dog noodles. Yeah. Ooh. When I was a kid, hot dogs would give me a tummy ache. I've Whoa, like, I didn't like hot dogs when I was little. I didn't mind them, but they gave me a tummy like clockwork thirty minutes after I ate them, so I had to stop. Huh. All right, should we stick the thermometer in there just to see how the yeah. meat is? I might just turn up the oven to brown them a little bit. I mean, more. yeah, the, the pastry doesn't look super brown. It's very strange. Ellie says, yeah, that makes sense to me, actually, Kimberly. <laughs> Pirates of the Caribbean 2, the PA and the Manhattan Prince. <laughs> oh, the meat's done. <laughs> okay, good. Yeah. Then let's, yeah, let's turn it up a little bit and brown that pastry, and then we'll pull them out. Yeah. Maybe they were just a little too big? Maybe. Or the filling was too wet, so the pastry didn't cook well enough? I don't know. It looks like, kind of, I don't know. Like, kind of looks, like it looks wet. dry. Maybe it's because the butter came out and didn't... I don't, I don't know. know. I don't know. Let's just give it two minutes to brown. <laughs> I think it was Prince Sausages. If you cut their ends while cooking them, they turn out to be a funny shape. Oh, there you go. Uh, oh. AP, that's right. <laughs> and then have you seen um on tiktok all these people like plating up their sunday roast they're like let's play dinner no or tea as they sometimes call it you're on such funny places on TikTok. You know, it's a lot of food yeah but it's just people that are just like here's like a house's worth of mashed potatoes <laughs> and then just like the strangest things on top of the mashed potatoes like Here's some sausages and some cheese and Yum. some all of the above. Yeah. Sounds amazing. And then they top it all with like curry sauce. And I'm like, oh, what are these flavors all in one plate? <laughs> Sounds great. I yeah. will post pictures of our most common tinbadrul in KBF to Please. Thank you, Ellie. <laughs> Tinbadrul. Tinbadrul. I don't know how to say it, but it's fun to try. Tinbadrul. Tinbadrul. Sorry. Sorry. I'm so sorry, <laughs> My sister was just in Amsterdam, she, which oh. is closer to Sweden than we are, which is why I say this. I don't understand. It is not It's Sweden. not the same. <laughs> Turn broad roly. Turn broad roly. Turn broad roly. Turn broad roly. Oh. Thin bread roll. Oh! Oh. Well, that's fun. There you go. When do we get a reaction to PA and Manhattan Prince? Dude, I don't know. I'm not in charge. Someday. Someday. It's browning. Okay, great. It's on the board. Yeah, it's on the board. It'll happen. Yes, Kimberly, that was perfect. You did it! <gasps> Yay! How many minutes is this now? Like, <laughs> 40. Oops. Ooh. I'm so impressed by Kimberly Swedish. It's really fun. Wait. What? I, again, understand that this isn't Swedish. <laughs> but my sister got us a children's book in Amsterdam. Oh. And it's been my favorite thing. Oh, my God. To try and pronounce. <laughs> yeah. Knuffelbeestje. <laughs> this is incorrect, I'm sure. Kish in bish. Oh my gosh. Var es da int. There's a duck. <laughs> Kish in bloom. Var is de sack. <laughs> oh, Ellie can pronounce Dutch words. Kish in honj. Var Benjish is you. Aw, that's cute. <laughs> that's the book. That's a very cute book. <laughs> so we have no, I mean, I can guess what it's saying, but 
Var is just slack. Var is just slack. I love that snail is slack. That's fun. That's fun. Var is just slack. <sighs> My uncle is Dutch. Oh, oh it's really it cute. It's a really sweet little book. Oh, but you didn't think you'd get story time tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Happy Friday, especially in Dutch. <laughs> Move back over, so there's fire. I'm being optimistic that we're gonna be able to pull them out. <laughs> Let's do it. Yeah. 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 <laughs> All I know is even yeah. It's where is the but what's quiche? Is it look? Like look a bee. Where is the duck? Look, a flower. Where is the slug? That's what. That's my guess. They look great. They're a little leaky, but they look great. Uh, oh yes. I don't see a gap. No gapping. Oh, I think we did great. Ah. All right. I'll slide a couple onto a plate. Bring them over to the show the people. Nope. Nope. Check it out. Var is the sausage. Look! Kishk! <laughs> sausage rolls! Can you see those? We did it! It's a sausage roll! I mean, it looks delicious. No. Yeah. Very excited to try these. Me too. I'm gonna cut oh, them Oh, back to So hot. I know. <laughs> Thanks, so it worked. Yeah, let's do that. They smell really good. Yeah, they do. I love this, like, the way that the pastry has browned. Yeah. All right, and the meat is cooked. Yes, we've determined. It smells really hot. It smells good. I'm just going to smell it and hold it. Those are some hefty <laughs> sausage rolls. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what did we do differently? I don't we know. Done I don't think we could have done anything to... Maybe we just... Maybe that should have been longer? Probably. Yeah. We didn't measure. Maybe see a close-up. Yes, you may. Yeah. Oops. Ooh. Give it a second. <laughs> Thank you, Quindon. Mm. Uh. Mm. Mm. Yeah. They're really good. Yes. You want to try that too. Mm. See how these are like a really good versatile thing that you can really make your own, you know? Because you can change so much in it to make the flavors a little bit more distinct. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's so hot. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yummy. Oh, 
fresh out of the oven, a sausage roll with an iced coffee. Sounds oh. so good. Super late response. Crime scene kitchen. They have to go into a kitchen that has all the stuff to clean up as if they've already made something. Then the pairs have to guess what it is and remake it. So oh, fun. fun. That's very clever. <laughs> well, now I'm hungry again. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Did you add a bit of spicy? Just a teeny little bit. I really doesn't love spice. No. I think if I made them on my thing. own, I probably would have gone a little spicier. Yeah. I might have also done a little sweet. Mm -hmm. Like a little bit of like honey in it. Or something. Or an apple. That's true. Maybe just something a little bit more. I don't know. Mmm. Mm. This is going to be a good breakfast. Yeah. I may have to make my own sausage rolls next week and report back. Do it! Yeah! Post pictures! Mm. It's very warming. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Very English. Mm -hmm. mm. Well, I'm happy. Mm -hmm. We did it, Kimberly. We did it. Thank you for hanging with us on a Friday night, guys. Yeah. And hanging so late. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get you home. Yeah, I probably should go home. Uh -huh. But we love you. Stay tuned for schedule stuff. Have been there. We'll figure some it out. changes for a little bit, and then we'll be eventually back to Saturdays. We just need to, yeah, got some other stuff in the works. Yeah. So. We love you. We'll see you soon. And happy Friday. Happy Have a great weekend. rolling. <laughs> <laughs> Good night, everybody. Bye.